Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Christmas. Merry and Christmas and Happy Holidays, thank everyone. Thank you, Thomas, for resubscribing just right now. Yeah. It says Twitch can be annoying. Sorry. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, welcome to our special holiday themed Christmas themed winter themed show. Yes. We're going to play some <laughs> winter themed games. Yes. Um, yeah. I th oh, I forgot to put the snow in our background. I wonder if I can do that. You guys want that? I think that'll be fun. I think that's fun. Okay. Let's put that in the background here. Boom. Oh. Snow. There we go. Nice. Now it's more Christmassy. Ooh. We've got the stockings here. Yep. Tanya just hung those up beforehand. Yep. Thank you for resubscribing, Dan ABC and Thomas Thrust26. Uh, we have uh, Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 7800 games broadcasting in 60 frames per second because that's what the 2600 mm -hmm. plays at. Way before all these consoles, Fancy. these new consoles, Fancy 60 frames a second, right. solid, no frame drops. <laughs> um, we've got five games t today in the theme. Mean Santa from 2009 by Propane13, who is in the chat. Oh, nice. So you can provide you some uh, us. background and uh, input. Uh, VCS Dreidel by Carl G. Nice. Um, that was from 2019. I, I don't know why we didn't include it last year, but I think it was just not in time. Um, Santa Simon on the 7800. Uh, Bite Before Christmas from 2011. Mm -hmm. We've played some of these games separately, but not all together as the whole thing. Your cat cam is facing us. Oh. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Let's move it where it's supposed to be. So you can now see our whole setup. Yeah. <laughs> They've gotten tours before. That's fine. <laughs> I was looking over and I'm like, oh, I wonder if the cat toys are visible. And then I realized it was looking at, at the whole screen. Sorry. That's from video conferencing. Yes. Just didn't have time to move them back over. There we go. There, that's more of a cat cam. Yeah. We're not sure if they're going to join us, though. They have been very bad. Very naughty. Yeah. Like, Pixel jumped up on the console area three times in a row. Uh, put them down. Yeah. Jump. Put them down. So but Atari, they're all hyped up for Christmas. They got a whole bunch of presents. They got a ton of toys. They were more spoiled than the... Well, we, we did pretty well, but they <laughs> yeah. were spoiled this year. They got gifts from all my relatives. Yes. So they're high, 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 high on catnip <laughs> right now. Very and, high. And actually, they've just come down because they were sleeping. So I think they, they, they expended a lot of energy, but... They yeah. may come in. Atari's been chewing cords. After they calm down. Yeah, yeah, Atari chewed my HDMI cable. That was, it goes from my computer to the TV. It's terrible. Um, so it cuts in and out. So right now it's, it's a, stable. Oh but if no. I touch it, it's going to go out. Oh, no. Um, and Bad the fifth cuts. game we're going to be playing is Santa Jump, which is a hack of Amoeba Jump. Oh, nice. Done by Scott Dayton. Nice. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Mm -hmm. Who support the show. Alan the Fur, Armscar Coder, Catalogs, Car Charles and Check, Coconut 81, Dianoid. Great Defender, Gradams, Ground Trooper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC23, Juan Urado, Carl G, Mark Space Inc, MCP90, Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse, Mighty Squirrel, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Packrat VG, Quahog 2600, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Scum Software, Six Sweet, Smitty Beams 7800, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esmeris 2008, The D Train 37, Welshman 89, Thrust 26, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD. You can see all down the side there. And you can support the show for free if you subscribe by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Make sure you follow us on all the Instagrams and stuff. Um, and what did somebody say just up here? I really missed your shows and enjoy seeing all the homebrew. You guys are so awesome for doing this. Oh, well, thank, thank you, you for tuning in. Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> and, and this is an early show, so there's going to be a little bit different people here than normal because... Yeah. We haven't been able to do noon shows for a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we've been doing it on Friday. I have to get home from work. Mm -hmm. So Thomas is with us nice. from Europe. Thank and all, you for coming. Yeah. And all the other uh, European yeah. viewers I know it's, today. It's a rough day for people because they're yes. doing stuff with their family. So, we you thought know. we'd put it in the middle of the day. So you can it might be easier possibly for some, tune in. Or possibly, you know, you're cooking your Christmas dinner if it's a little later in the day for you. And, or, and yeah, you in Europe, watch. it would be after dinner. But yeah. uh, it just seemed to just... 
work well because uh, yeah. Christmas fell on a Friday and we're all stuck at home anyway. So exactly, it we felt thought like a good uh, good day to do some streaming. We could celebrate it with all of you. Yeah. And we're gonna show you what we got for Christmas. Christmas presents. Um, so got... this this I was not yeah. expecting. <laughs> uh, Santa. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, got us tablets. Got us tablets. Our for old Christmas. ones are very slow. Yeah. Uh, yours is unusable. Uh, completely Mine is unusable. Barely usable. Um. But um. So this should suffice just fine. I mean, it's I'm not, so excited. Not That's the top so of the nice. line, but it. We don't need top of the line. We just need fast enough. Yes. Yeah. Because I've got a computer. You've got a laptop. Well. This is just portable screens that we can use away around from the, the computer, house. around yeah. from the house. Yeah. yeah. Around the house. Which is lovely. Thank you, Santa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Tabby is a good one. Yeah. I mean, it. it oh, it's. Can you grab the other Switch games? I forgot. Oh. Those. Yep. I'll be right back. Um. Santa brought me these. He knows exactly what games I want. Uh, Far Cry 5 and Far Cry New Dawn for PS4. Um, Santa brought Tanya this uh, third-party controller for the Switch. So we already have a Pro Controller, but I wanted a second one so that we can play properly uh, games together because there are a number of Switch games that I have. And oh, Tanya got me this. It's the Atari 2600-7800 a Visual Compendium by Bitmap Books. Now, these are excellent, amazing books. And they, the construction of them is incredible. Like, it's got the slip cover. Yeah, I don't even want to open it because it's so nice. And it's got that uh, cover where it changes yeah. as well two or three let's see i think it's just yeah two different frames of the animation of each of these yeah games. oh they're so beautiful yeah, yeah they're really Such really a, nice those and books you said are gorgeous they shipped them and it's it was bomb proof yeah like the packaging. It, it, the packaging it came wrapped in foam in a cardboard structure in a box that was like double the size. Yeah. Um, so the, the book actually wouldn't get damaged in shipping. I have not seen such a well packaged, like it's it, it had the packaging of like yeah. electronics. Do you know what I mean? Like it was packed so well. So they do a yeah. really beautiful job of packing, packing their books. And I've got their Commodore 64 version of this. Yeah. And also Generation 64 and also Arcade. I think that's from Bitmap Books as well. Yeah. And I've got a number of them and they're really, really nice. Beautifully is... done. They're from the UK. Yeah. And it actually shipped fairly quickly because it's, it's hard to know, you know, how long it'll take to ship to North America. Yeah. And I thought, oh, he might get it after Christmas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it actually came really quickly, so... So this is all yeah. the um, graphics of 2600 yes. and 7800 games, and they do an amazing presentation and a little write-up about each of the yeah. games. We'll have to open it at some point. I don't know. Ooh, Did yeah. you open your Commodore 64 one? Um, on the air, you mean? <laughs> no, no. But oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Might as well open it right now. Yeah. Let's take a look carefully. Yeah, don't cut it. There you do. Um, just because it's so do the so unboxing. done. Because yeah. it technically is in a box. Yeah. It's gorgeous, though. Oh. Just And the plastic amazing. is off. <laughs> oh, they do a gorgeous job. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I mean, they're a little more expensive because they're in full color, but they're not that expensive. Oh, it opens up to Popeye because that's what the... Uh, Perfect. Bookmark's in. So we have a new Popeye for the 7800 yeah. now. Um, so you can see they have huge screenshots. There's Empire Strikes Back for the 2600. There we go. Yeah. And a little write up. So it's really well presented. So if you're interested yeah. in any of their line or any of their versions of the books, because they have. Yeah, well, that's an They have too. Sega um, Master System, I think, Sega Genesis, NES. Yeah, they have a number of them. So whatever your systems you're interested in. Mm -hmm. So this one's Freeway, mm -hmm. Activision's Freeway. Very, just beautiful, beautiful books. Yeah. Yeah, they say the platform, when it was released, genre, and the developer, and uh, everybody's favorite, adventure. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Like full color pages. I think they all of that just... It. It's like an art book, basically, is, it is. is how, yeah. how I see those books. They're well, very, they're very beautifully order. done. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, nice. your, what your favorite game, Impossible Mission. Mm-hmm. For the 7800. For the 7800, which literally is impossible. 
Yes, you yes. You cannot complete it yeah. on the 7800, but they, the PAL version you can. Yes. Um, and there's somebody has uh, made a fix for it as well. Anyway, mm. gorgeous book. Just gorgeous. Love it. Yes. Let's put that away. Be very careful. Um, and then my uh, sister-in-law and... Brother-in-law? Brother-in-law? Yeah. In-law? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he's your brother-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got me this, which is extremely timely. This is a soldering iron, a proper one. The one I have is garbage. And uh, I had start started working on my 7800 modding mm -hmm. it for S videos so we can finally use a 7800 on the stream. Yeah. Now that I have, I have the concerto cart. Yeah. So there it is, a proper station. Nice. Mine is just like a metal ring that I stick it in and it falls over and burns me. So this is much better. It's got a temperature control, digital temperature control. So I'm really looking forward to using this. The station, yeah. Today, possibly even to do some more because I did the audio wiring mm. yesterday. Mm. I haven't hooked it in, but the wiring is done. Um, so I, I'll probably finish that today at least. Mm. Funny story, one of my first projects was making Possible Mission. Well, there we go. Mm -hmm. There's a person. <laughs> the PAL version can be completed, so I made some changes to make it NTSC compatible. Oh, well, that's an easier way. Oh, that's the best that's way smart. to do it, yeah. So there is a beatable version out there. Nice. Thank you, Propane, we for giving that gift out. to the world. Yes. Because yes. yeah. um, Impossible Mission was probably my favorite game on the Commodore 64. Mm -hmm. And I did beat it, as well as Impossible Mission 2 multiple times i'm not sure i could do it now but <laughs> i'm sure with a little well I, it's funny walking into the rooms because the rooms the rooms are random but they're yes. the same rooms so once you understand each room you pulled it out for a retro game night and i was playing it i'm like oh yeah boom 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 boom. <laughs> like like i it's reset it's, the platforms freeze the yeah, robots yeah. <laughs> search there there gone it's funny how uh deep back you know even though it's decades ago it's back in the memory Oh, Even yeah. if you haven't played it in in a long time, it's in your oh, it memory somewhere. Back. So yeah, especially if you played it a lot when you were a child, because you absorb stuff when you're a kid. <laughs> yeah. I got that for you. Yes, Yoshi. Yoshi's Crafted World. Yeah, very very cute games. Yes, and amazing visuals. Yeah, and that's for the Switch. And I got uh, uh, Santa brought me Super Bomberman R mm -hmm. for the Switch as well, nice. which kind of goes with this. Yeah, because now it's we a can two -player play. Game. Yeah, I don't know how many players. Uh, four. Up to four. Oh, oh no, really? up to eight. Really? Yes, when it's docked. So you can have really? eight controllers. That's not online. That's like... that's like. So a... we could have four, actually, because yeah. this would have one, and then our other pro controller, and then each of those two... Those two could be one ...controllers as well. that oh, come with the system. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, cool. But up to eight. That's we like We awesome. like multiplayer games. I mean, you yes. can't really play them right now, but uh, other than no. for two. Two, which is fine. At some point, we'll be able to drag people over. So, a very good Christmas, and especially yeah. the concerto cart that came last yes. week yes. that I've updated. It's working really well now mm -hmm. with the updates. Um, so, and I just have to finish my uh, alterations um, of these S video mod, which don't look too hard. Mm. Um, but I am quite an amateur at soldering <laughs> but it doesn't look that bad it's not okay. too intricate so i think okay. i can i can make it work good so last uh friday we had a very fun show oh, talking yes. with john shampoo yes about all of his games mm. and then having the gorf arcade premiere that was cool which was very awesome yeah he worked very hard just before mm. um the show to get it working mm. and get it out there so that we could play it and show all of you. So we know, now he's, I think he's trying to get it into a working demo form because he didn't have Galaxian level done. They were just sitting at the top, made for easy fodder. That's for sure. <laughs> um, so I don't know if he'll get that done before the end of the year, but it'll be very, very shortly, mm. I think. Yeah, so That's we'll fair. be looking forward to playing the fuller version of the game so we can show off all the levels in full. You keep looking at yourself. No. <laughs> Checking out the snow. No. Just... Um, so we're going to play Mean Santa. This is from 2009 by John K. Harvey, which is Propane 13. Um, and it's on Arena Foot's book in page 193, so we'll check that out. Actually, if you can grab instructions from the printer. Uh, we'll fire it up on the 2600. 
Excellent. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't read who was in the chat today, yeah. actually. Propane 13 Real, whose game we're playing right now. Dan ABC, Thrust 26, Yogart, who just subscribed. Uh, not subscribed, uh, followed the channel. Uh, Al Nefer, Scum Software. Uh, TL. No, no, nope, no. not that person. <laughs> Bad. Spam. Nutty03. Nice. And everybody else who is lurking. Welcome to the show. Okay, so, Mean Santa, let's get it going. Is it anything like Bad Santa? Because we watched that last we night. We did. I don't know. We'll have to find out. <laughs> so I fixed... Oh, your your little platform's not down here. You took it upstairs. Oh, should I... I should grab it. Should I grab it? Yep. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> we've solved, hopefully, both problems with this joystick. Mm -hmm. um, I got a little TV tray for Tanya so that it doesn't bug her having this controller. And I finally crazy glued the controller as well. So it should not be falling out anymore. It is very, very solid. Um, the wiring at the end is still visible. I mean, it's not bare wire, but I think it's just the plastic sheathing is being pulled out. Um, so I don't think it'll go bad and I don't think it'll pull out, hopefully. But this is a very common cable, so I should be able to replace it if there's any issues with that. So not that big a deal. Um, so I was telling my crazy glued it. Yes. So it shouldn't be falling out and driving Good. you crazy. And also this tray should help quite a bit with that, as to, that too. So I've got the instruction for Mean Santa, a game for your Atari 2600, conceived by Tim Duarte and programmed by John K. Harvey. Mm -hmm. uh, mean Santa, you can load it up. Mean Santa on the loose. What could cause someone to snap after hundreds of years of generosity? Was it the blatant commercialization of Christmas, with cheap check decorations displayed in stores well before Halloween, the threatening, threatened uni, uni, unionization of the elves, <laughs> or perhaps the international regulators who banned reindeer propulsion because of the flatulence of the nine reindeer was damaging the ozone layer? <laughs> or was it just one naughty child too many? Whatever the reason, Santa Claus has gone over to the dark side, and this Christmas won't be the usual season of goodwill towards men. And it's got a uh, booking photo of, for the front and the side of nice. Santa. Yeah. Um, so let's skip so you can play the game. Objectives. Uh, you start with six lives. If you crash your sleigh into a house, you'll lose a life. Mm. Getting card by, caught by a guard dog will also lose a life. In later levels, thunderbolts can hit Santa's sleigh if he's not mm. careful. He could hit a house and crash. You must successfully land on the roof of a house without crashing. Land, okay. Santa will automatically climb down the chimney, enter the house. Once inside, grab all the presents in the room as fast as possible before returning to the chimney. Santa will automatically enter his sleigh and fly towards the next house. So that is the basics. Thanks for the, having us all of the above. Uh, so easy, medium, hard. Well, we'll just start on medium. Let's see how it goes. Got some music there. So you have to land on the house. Oh, nope. oh. Missed that house. No presents for that kid. They're bad. They're a bad kid anyway. So stay oh, no. low. There, there you go. Grab all the candy canes. Oh, really? Get them. Excellent. Up the chimney. So far, there's no. I think you just have to touch it. Just, oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no dogs yet. I guess they come later. Santa Claus was held in temporary custodial for six months ago by Interpol for environmental violations, but was released after promising to develop alternative propulsion methods for his sleigh. You don't see the reindeer, so he has found different uh, ways to power his sleigh. Yeah, it's an auto-powered sleigh. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, now powered with uh, electric power, uh, renewable, resort, oh. renewable uh, sources, uh, solar, uh, geothermal possibly. Oh, oh, you crashed into the chimney. That's really hard. It's harder than it seems. There, there you go. go. Oh, stealing all the wreaths. He's a bad Santa. He is a bad Santa. Maybe the children of the world will learn to appreciate the important things in life if they didn't spend Christmas focused on shiny new toys, Santa stated upon his release earlier this year. <laughs> Maybe this year Santa will take away the presents instead of delivering them. 
Instead of leaving lumps of coal in the stockings of the naughty children, Santa... Oh, my goodness. I didn't even think your front end was off of it. Santa has decided to teach them a lesson. And no rogue wind currents, bad weather, or guard dogs will let... Uh, are getting going to get in his way. Uh, and he's asked for your help in executing his diabolical plan. Mm. So, you're playing medium. You must visit this, these house, same houses five times. Okay. Oh. oh. Mean Santa offers uh, three game variations. Easy, medium, and hard. Easy, oh. you only have five houses to visit. And there are no chimney obstacles on the houses. Oh, I see. So you have chimneys. That's okay. See, well, What I, happened there? That looked like I landed. On the I medium... must not be doing it quite right. That's okay. Keep going. Still medium? Yep. Uh, on the medium, oh, you fine. must visit these same five houses plus 10 additional houses for a total of 15. Hard game, you have the same 15 houses as you did in the medium plus 10 additional houses for 25. So there's chimneys and you have to get 15 houses. Mm -hmm. Avoid black houses. So oh, this really? is like Paperboy oh. except Santa. And instead of delivering newspapers, you're stealing gifts or stealing candy canes, I guess. And wreaths. And wreaths. I'm sure there are we'll see what there else. Somewhere. So you avoid the black houses? Trust mm. was saying? They don't want presents. Or they don't want their presents stolen? Yeah. Or they're not home? Or they don't celebrate Christmas so they have nothing to steal anyway? <laughs> I guess that's the... Um, game screens, title screens. Uh, a number of lives you have left is represented by the Christmas trees. So you have six. You haven't died yet. Yeah. Good. Oh, it's shaped like a candy cane almost. Yeah. Uh, nighttime sky. In this first screen, you control Santa's sled as the houses scroll from right to left. Avoid wind currents. Have you felt any yet? No, not there. Maybe in the second level. Which can knock your sleigh out of control. Oh, this one's in a wreath. Uh, when a house roof appears, navigate the sleigh down to land on the roof. Santa will then enter oh. the house and proceed to oh. the next screen. Oh, oh, now you've got wind currents. Avoid those deadly snowflakes. Oh. What? Oh, you're stealing children. What? Dollies? No. Oh my god. Not oh, bananas. The, don't get the bananas. Don't. Santa has uh, allergy to bananas apparently. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's he's he is quite pink. Oh. <laughs> he got sick. Oh, he just has a face. Ah. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. watch out. Oh, oh, you oh it lose resets. Them. Oh, uh. I wonder if it completely resets. I what like is, the dollies. What is Santa's funny. problem with bananas? Guess we'll find out. Get the Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> it's the 80s again. Yep. Um, don't even think about landing on the chimney. Santa's sleigh cannot fit atop the chimney. If you hit the chimney, you'll crash. Uh, the sky screen consists of five houses per world in a repeating loop. If you miss a house, it'll come back later. <laughs> you'll have to complete all five houses before you can advance to the next world. Mm -hmm. uh, each world contains more obstacles to make it compelling. Uh, make it more... To make difficult? completing your mission more difficult. Yeah. Oh, a little bit different pattern. They're reset bananas. <laughs> oh, he gets sick, I guess, and drops all the dolls on the floor. Possible. Um, any house you've already visited black will be colored bad? black. No, they are bad. You don't oh, do you that. Already... No, you just said that. No, they said you don't said... visit the black houses. Yes, yes, but you, he, I, I wasn't sure if he was being, oh. he was just making a joke. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just like Paperboy. Um, black houses are people who canceled their paper ah! subscription. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. You don't lose a life for that, do you? No. It just messes you it up. It just messes you up. Uh... So when they come back around, skip the black houses, you'll crash automatically. You've already yeah. been there. Yeah. Was this made of Batari Basic? Assembly. Ah. Wonder if you use Mini Colonel. Maybe Santa got tired of milk and cookies and he felt he was getting the raw deal. From the night, Santa went crazy by Weird Al. Oh, missed it again. I'm just there are two versions moving. of that song. The second version, the extra gory version, Santa gets killed by a SWAT team. <laughs> this means Santa has achievements. Oh, it does? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, once inside the house, you'll spot a variety of presents on the floor. Collect all of the items as fast as you can before returning to the top of the screen to the chimney. You'll find yourself back outside the nighttime sky. Ah! Ah! Hitting the reset bananas. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
When all the houses are successfully looted, you have one remaining task. Steal the roast turkey dinner <gasps> at the final house without getting caught by the dogs. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is... There's lightning. Oh. There's wind. It follows you. Oh, oh my god. Wow, that's 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 definitely... So you have to get there. Oh. Oh, my god. There's... Ah. Oh. Oh, my what am God. I catching? Well, oh, 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 the moving toy? Yep. Oh, wow, oh, both nice toys. toys. And avoiding the reset bananas. So you can avoid the lightning at the bottom, but then you have to... Um, the house is going to come. Oh, can't move up Three lives enough. left. It's really tough. Ooh, oh, I don't my know God. how I managed that. Oh, so you just have to get all these guys. Uh... Dump trucks and ADATs, or ATATs, mm. depending on... Okay, game over screen. Screen appears at the end of the game. It displays a total number of minutes and the seconds it took to complete the game. Oh. Can you beat the game in record time? Ah. Obstacles, bananas. <laughs> this discarded fruit is encountered in high levels. You don't want to collect these. If you accidentally touch one, you'll slip and fall. Dropping all that you've gathered, and you'll need to start collecting over again. So it's not he's not allergic to them. No, he they just, just make you fall. It makes you fall, and he spills all the stolen toys. Oh. oh. At least it doesn't kill you. Uh, dogs, which we haven't seen yet. Hmm. Even though the inhabitants of the home may be asleep, their pets aren't. Dogs will try and stop you from collecting the turkey dinner mm -hmm. and the presents. Santa neglected to get his rabies shot. shot. <gasps> if one catches Santa. you, you'll lose a life. Got to get your rabies shot. Yeah. Did I get my rabies shot? I did. Not rabies, no. Um, what did I get? You got tetanus. a tetanus shot. Not rabies. <laughs> you usually only get a rabies shot. Oh, After you get dead. Bent, right? Yeah. Want a shot? Yes, I do. It's it's fun. It's very, very cute. I love games where you switch functions. Like you go yes. back and forth and, and it keeps it, it keeps it kind of fresh. Weather. Obstacles? Weather. Okay. Do you want I'll this? I'll play medium as well. No, this? no, no. I don't need such thing. <laughs> oh my god. And death. Obstacles. Okay. Weather. I won't reset. Even though Rogue I wind currents make for rough flying. Avoid them while in your sleigh or they might cause you to crash. Unfortunately for me and Santa, as the night progresses, the weather only gets worse. In higher levels, a storm cloud with lightning may send you off course. And in even later levels, the wind currents can get even faster, making mm. Santa's job that much more difficult. I wonder if it's just going to be like, you can just feel the wind, or is there going to be like little little clouds? No, those wind currents are, I think the snow, when are it they? comes to hit you. Oh, yeah. okay. Because it'll, it'll, it'll make you spiral, but you don't die, you just can't control it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's indicated by the, the, the little snowflakes. Snow, the snowflake, yeah. Scoring. Mean Santa is a race against the clock. You don't receive points for any of the items you collect. After all, you already have all the toys you need. House five. So I Instead, guess I'm the line. object is to visit all the houses in the shortest amount of time before losing all your lives. House one. So I'm on the second wave. Nice. Tips and tricks. Your best chance of landing on a roof is by ah. flying low. Just clearing the chimneys, approaching the rooftop quickly from a diagonal angle. Yes. At the last second, sharp, sharply push your joystick back and to the left. When right. picking up the presents, move in a circular motion. This seems to confuse the dogs. <laughs> circular know? motion. Okay. Okay. Mean Santa team. John K. Harvey, programmer. Tim Duarte, game designer. Lo logistics manager, game tester. Dan Skelton, label art. Santa oh. mugshots. Very nice mugshots. <laughs> mugshots. Game manual layout and content. Mark Androvich, Santa and Kids cartoon, game manual content and consultant. And a bunch of game testers. Al Bakil, Scott Stilp Stilfen, and Russ Perry Jr. as a consultant. Oh, I knew those things. There you go. Can you land on the top of the roof anywhere except the chimney? Uh, yeah, I, I've kind of like caught the, the edge. edge. So you kind of have to go down and back. And so that right. whole thing about pushing back, I think, is something you kind of have to do. You have to kind of push back to yeah. land. Santa's crazy. Look at him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Waving his arms and legs. Oh, oh. This is where it gets challenging. It's all about the timing of the um, ah. the lightning. You run as fast as the trucks. Yeah. 
propane thirteen. Yeah, you can't you can't land on the left of the chimney. Yeah, there really no, isn't not space. The left. But, but anywhere from the, on the right, right, I've accidentally knocked the edge of it. So I think yeah. yeah but see, I'm safe. You I was a bit close. off. Yeah. I was a bit off. You though. can be a bit off. Those look like uh, the uh, cute adats from Toy Trouble, Toy Shop Trouble. Mmm. Bananas everywhere. What are these peeps? Slobs. Their house is full of banana peels all over the floor. It's like they're <laughs> expecting Santa. Super cute. Oh, yeah. Super cute. So what I've been doing is staying over here. Yes. Till I see the house because I go faster than the cloud. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Right? I was just trying to time myself, but if, if you can get ahead of it, then yeah, you won't get you ah. won't get zapped. Ah. So cute. There we go. Oh yeah. So cute. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, now this is now you've you've gone up a level. Yeah. Oh, what is the house flashing? I don't what know. What was that? No. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it knows my trick now, right? No, no, you have to stay down. You do have oh. to stay. Oh, oh, dogs. Oh, my God. There's a lot of dogs. I didn't recognize that they were dogs at first. So this is the last level. Oh, you have to not get hit by them. <gasps> Ooh, good job. You, you win! win! Four minutes, 18 seconds. Nice. So this game has an ending. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's very cool. Uh, we should play the... Ex the heart? Well, the heart's just longer. It doesn't add... And you have more houses. Maybe. It doesn't add any no, new obstacles or difficulties. But yeah, but it's just longer. what's inside the houses might be different. Is it propane? Yeah. <laughs> Beat medium mode under four minutes and you unlock another, another mode. mode. Well, we're ah. going to have to do it again. Okay. Well, you you do it because I think you're more likely to beat it. You did it pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, your set doesn't do anything. Game select. Medium? Okay, okay, so I'm gonna do it super fast. This it's the time. same in the houses. Okay, so so you're not seeing something new in the houses because I was oh my I was God. going to say that would be a reason to do it on hard was to see what was in the five additional houses, but yeah. yeah. So this one I'm gonna stay to the right and just go really fast. Mm -hmm. So I was yeah. really close. It's only 18 yeah. seconds off. So if I try and <laughs> minimize the time. Because some of these houses I kind of fooled around and I was playing with the Santa. and mm. So I'm pretty sure mm. I could do it in four. So each set of five houses is harder than the last. Right. Because some as it goes up, you get the mm. wind. And then you get... Well, the dogs are only in the last those, level. Those last five houses on hard mode are brutal. <laughs> oh. does it? Uh. Are they harder on the hard mode then? Uh, yes, he says they are. They're Things are faster, I guess. Uh, yeah, I would guess uh, so. I mean, we can try it. You should it try to. Longer. You should try to break the four four minutes, and then we can always try hard to see what those last five what houses look games. like. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, like this is an achievable. Yeah, an achievable goal in the time oof, we have. Oof, 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 oof. <gasps> Thank goodness you don't die from hitting those things, though. Yes. Oh my goodness, it'd be over. Good job. So I'm just going to stay over on ah! this side because you don't die. It just goes bleh. Yeah, but you can't control your landing if it hits you. Eh. Worth it. <laughs> How 16 plus a dog chases you. So it is a little oh, different. Oh, it is different. Yeah. Oh, you can land anywhere in the house. Oh. Look at that. I don't know. How did, how did I that continually? terrible landing. I don't know. You died like... Oh, <sighs> you can't do that. You have to be very, very precise in this one. Oh, my God. You have to be very precise. I was trying to go up the right, left-hand oh, side, and there was no left-hand side. Wasted seconds. I know. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't control your landing. That's the thing. You have to you still have to be a little careful. Oh, that's good. You just go down the yeah. left there. That one I remember though with the with the the double bananas is you you do have to be careful. Double bananas. Ooh. Double bananas. Double bananas. <sighs> yeah. You... That was very close. Yeah. Oh, I have to throw. You don't it have to go through the front. You can hit no? it from the side. Oh, yeah. Okay. This one, I'm just going to stay with my tactic, I think. Yeah, your light... tactic's really good. Yeah, that lightning is. House.
<laughs> do, 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 timing, no bananas, no bananas. No bananas. Try and get as many on the way on down. On the bottom, and then just catch what you miss on the way back. Yep. Good job. What house was that? I don't know. <laughs> it does say at the bottom, 15? Wait, 15? is this the end? Yep, one more. Oh my goodness. And then the final house It's only the four minutes, like. Yeah, that's true. This is the oh, last one. This one. Oh, brutal. Oh, no. Ah. Life lost. Just stay at the bottom. Oh. 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 It's smacking me into the house. Oh, there you go. There is there is a point where you can just go right up. 351. Woo! You unlock snow mode. Snow mode, Woo whatever that means. Where's my patch? <laughs> What does that mean? Snow mode. Just switch the mode. We'll try it out. Like it's an extra mode? It's an extra mode. Snow mode! Oh, woo! Oh, it's its own. Yes. Oh, snow level. mode. Level. Nice. Oh, but what level is it? Is it a hard? Hard on snow? Propane! Help us! You can now play easy, medium, snow, hard. Oh, it's between medium and, and hard. Oh, is it? okay. Or is it just medium with snow? <laughs> <laughs> is it medium with snow or is it, it hard with snow? That's okay. That's very cool. That's a nice bonus. Yes. I love games like this. Little little things you unlock as you go. Oh, yeah. I love that your snow goes uh, diagonally as well. Very, very uh, realistic. <laughs> There's not many homebrew that have unlockable modes. Yeah. I can't think of another one. No. I'm sure there are. I'm but sure. I'm sure too. Like where you can you can unlock and then it has a different version of the game. Has he answered whether it's medium or? It's between medium and hard. So is there twelve houses? If you can beat easy, you unlock a mode. If you beat medium, you unlock a mode. If you and if you beat hard, you unlock a mode. Oh, oh. they're all different. Oh, cool. Well, that means we have to play. Easy. <laughs> We won't do the hard one. So yeah, I don't think... That, yeah, it'll take more time. If you beat that final mode, I owe you a high five. <laughs> really? Okay. Well, well, mm. well, we'll get there. Mm. I don't know if we have time today, but... Uh, <laughs> we'll see. How much time I have for this. Mm. So it's only five houses. Yeah, I don't know if it's four minutes or if it's a different time. Oh, it'd but... be less for sure. Probably like two minutes or something. That's so cool. Oh, it's a very cute game. I love the Santa sprite. It's kind of purple face. Purple oh, I like. Pinky. Well, that's okay. He's bad Santa. So <laughs> that's right. He's gotten angrier as this, <sighs> as his career has moved forward. Um, under two minutes for under two mode. minutes. Okay. It's only that's, five houses though. That's house four. Well, two minutes is not long. Mm. Five. Oh, so you've got a. Is it five got, or ten? I can't remember. This now. is five. Oh my goodness. Boom! Ooh, cool mode. One twelve. Not even close. Cool mode. <laughs> cool mode. Here we go. Nathan Strom. Oh, thank you for oh, subscribing. Thank you, Nathan Strom. So, what is cool mode? I don't see anything different. <laughs> you pick cool mode? Yeah. Is it a different color, the background? I don't know. Don't. Maybe I'm not noticing. Maybe it's, uh... It's got oh, chimneys. Oh, it's got chimneys! So is it easy with... Ch well, chimneys was in the medium. It could be easy with chimneys. It could be easy... No, but medium had oh. more houses. Yeah, could so be. So it's an in-between mode. Well, that makes that makes for a really nice progression because yeah. you do the easy mode until you you get your your new mode. You're doing hard now, aren't you? Yep, I have to. Uh, well, I want to see the the last five houses too, which are harder. So yes, yeah. that's true. They will be different. So I do want to see those. Um, we got an emote. Ooh, oh, what is nice. it? I don't know how do I. It's uh.
I don't even know how to check that out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've, okay. I haven't played with the chat very much, so. It's the right bottom right hand side. Okay. Um, it has a little smiley face or something. That's where the emotes are. Okay. How do I know what's new? I have no idea. Didn't it come up on the screen telling you what it was or showing you what it was? Or... Oh, snacking. 2020 snacking. 2020 snacking. It's a guy snacking popcorn. That's very apropos. Yeah. I love my popcorn. Tanya so. loves popcorn. Thank you. It's like what I, all I eat all day long. Yeah. If you're going to put a challenge in the game, I'm going to try and do that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Oh, so, this is so cute. Little dollies, little oh. Cabbage Patch Kids. Weren't they, weren't they mostly bald? The Cabbage Patch mm -mm. Kids? The best Cabbage Patch Kids weren't bald. The Cabbage Patch Kid I got oh. from my parent was bald. <laughs> and those Cabbage Patch Kids, they were bad enough because they were like... The heads were so hard. Solid. You would accidentally hit yourself with them and like bruise yourself. Oh my god. But yes, Babette, my Cabbage Patch Kid from the 80s. Babette. Babette. My sister's was Oliver. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Why, why would we remember those names? I Crazy. don't know. But it, <laughs> it was so meaningful when you were a child. Yeah. Because um, you get adoption She papers. was a preemie oh, and no. had no hair. And I was... You've never seen a child <laughs> so disappointed on Christmas no morning. No hair. See? Ah! A Cabbage Patch Kid with no hair. And that thing was a weapon. <laughs> yes, it was. Smack. Oh, oh. do I have to wait? Until it comes around again. <gasps> no, it failed already. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to restart? Yeah. Cause... It's okay. You might still get it. Uh, I think you can't fail. Cause... Maybe. There you go. That's terrible. Your house That's 10? That, like 30 seconds wasted. Yeah, you have to do it's 25. 15? 25. 25 Ooh. on the hard. We'll All the same tactics work. Yeah. But on the the ones that are past this, they may not. Well, it might be that horrible there. level where the snow goes straight at you. Oh, it is, I bet. I yeah. bet it is. Oh, that is Because that is hard. That is quite a bit harder. Um. Oh, I got it. Yeah. That saves a bit of time. Mm -hmm. I do really love the backgrounds. I love the the fact that it changes. Oh yeah. The unlocks, brilliant. I love that. I love. I. I uh, yeah, I love games like that. I I just think it keeps you playing, especially for games that are, like, not that this is simple, but a simpler game. It yeah. keeps you playing when you have little goals to achieve. Yeah. It's great. It does. It. It's like, oh, you have to get this yeah. for this. And it's and... achievable. It doesn't feel oh, so yeah. so incredibly hard that you give up. <laughs> oh, it is the yeah, terribleness. Yeah, it is. It is. We've got, oh, <sighs> ten houses of this. <gasps> oh. God damn it. <sighs> How am I going to do this? Oh, my God. <laughs> so I only had to do it once. <gasps> I think oh. you need to stay at the bottom and then use your tactic. No. Oh! You need to stay at the bottom. You cannot no, stay I at can't. the top. You can't. The timing is oh. totally off. Dogs. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's oh he, of... he chases you. Hopefully there's oh, a wow. lot of time for this. Yeah, in the hard mode. Because oh, I have made cute. a bunch of mistakes. It's pretty cute. That's okay. You have to see what's there. Oh. Oh! What? The, you, you caught the edge. You can die from yeah, that. I, I, I have done that, so. You, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like the same levels, but the dog chases you. <gasps> oh no! Oh, you very you keep. <gasps> he got you. Game over. One more. What happens if they get through hard mode? Two high fives. Two high fives. <laughs> no, he only promised that one high five. Oh no! <laughs> well, there's. It's supposed to unlock another level, so. Oh, what happens when you play it again with that? Oh, I see. Yeah, two high fives. <laughs> Propane 13 says you did very well. Uh, I think you did. It's really uh, hard when you hit those last last few. I need a, t a, a, a tactic to avoid the lightning. I don't know it yet. I was try I was almost getting one. But I just can't miss a house this time. Hmm. 
because I did last time and it was devastating. 30 seconds wasted. High five and a nod. <laughs> <laughs> a nod. That works. That works. Like a Santa nod where it goes. Mm. <laughs> Dogs aren't too much trouble, but the resets, those are yeah. Those are... Well, that's where it gets challenging is when the when you have both the lightning and the uh... oh, yeah. There is, is this... like a magic spot. There, there is, and it's right there. Cheaty cheaties. It's just <gasps> oh, careful. Just above middle. This, yeah. this one's challenging because if you're a little too high or low, we'll get you. Interesting with doing that one with the dog. Ugh. You kind of have to, like, get distance between... You do. This one's not too bad. It's, it's the design. next one that's you have to go quite a bit slower. It reminds me of Dragonfire. <laughs> yes. That's how you do it. I also had that's another cabbage patch with auburn hair. And those that's why I said it reminds me of cabbage patch kids because my, my cabbage patch had like auburn long hair. Oh. So <laughs> Boom. Reminds me of that cabbage patch kid. Boom. It's how you do it. It's how you do it. <laughs> keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. You can be on the screen yeah, and it can it, pass right by you. Yeah. Cheap. Okay. Cheap. Cheap. Now you're into the rough, rough zone. Ah! As long as I don't crash into the chimney. You have to, I don't know how, oh. Oh. Oh, uh, oh do I die? Yes. No, no Yes, I didn't. yes, you did. You, did it was I? game over when you hit, hit him the last oh, time. That's true. It's oh death. my God. Oh, that's terrible. Ah! Yeah, I agree. Actually, lower might not be the best. You kind of want to be higher. Yep. Oh, oh, rough. At least there's nothing blocking your path to yeah. run away from the dog. No banana peels. Oh, he's this moving dog's faster. Very fast. He's moving faster. How is he moving faster? Run, run, run. Oof. Oh. This is how you do it. You stay up. Ah. Copian 13. The dog will take a life, however, you can use that to get past hard banana obstacles and it. make up speed. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Yes, oh, he's very you fast. Just have to weave. Oh, he is fast. Does he get faster as you go along? He is definitely faster. How many do you have to do? 25? Sweet. Oh, no. Damn it. Whatever you do, don't hit the bananas! Ah, one life left. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to make it. Uh, it's so hard. It's, it's all about not hitting the bananas. This house is going to get you. Because the dog's so fast. You have to, you have to get distance. Oh, that middle one's... <gasps> it's 25? Not 20? Oh my god. Okay. Done. <laughs> Put that in my we'll list come back. for later. We'll come back, yes. Uh, put that in my list <laughs> for, another for show. trying to win. Oh my god. That is a tough, tough game. 
but excellent. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. <laughs> Arr, we, un right. we unlocked cool and snow mode, so that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Not the top mode. Yeah, we'll figure okay. it out. Okay, next game is... Oh, he gave me a whole bunch of background that I did not read because I was playing the whole time and I should yeah. have given to you. Oh, that's okay. Um, I will read about it during the next game. For This is for the last game? Yes. Mm. Uh, this next game is VCS Dreidel by Carl mm. G. Carl Garrison. Um, posted on December 15th, 2019. It's a 4K game. Other games? Cannons, Toy Shop, Terminator, Space Game, Penal, RC Sumo Bots, Robot Tag, and VCS Dreidel. You can download this one and the last one in the Atari Age forums. So this is a virtual dreidel game for up to pl four players. A simple manual is attached below, which we printed out. Uh, I've not been able to find any dreidel-related Atari games, so I'm making one, a simple one with Atari Basic. It says, so my ex-wife and my boys are Jewish, and I mm. made the, the game with them in mind. Nice. They both were underwhelmed with it, but <laughs> mainly because the dreidel game itself is a bit dull, like the actual, actual game. I, I remember playing that in elementary school, yeah, having, I've having dreidels, playing it. with dreidels. Yeah. I, I know of them. I've never seen one oh. or played one. No. Where is it? Oh, so tiny. Yogurt cheered a hundred times. Yay. Thank you for the cheers. Great attempt on hard mode. Look tough. It it was tough, especially that last level with the in a row. I just couldn't get the middle one because mm -hmm. I couldn't lead the dog away mm -hmm. fast enough. Um, all randomness, no strategy. I wasn't offended. I'm not sorry I made it, though, since it was fun and it seemed like something that should exist. Maybe next year, though, I'll make a platformer starring the dreidel dude. Running joke in my household to see if that they like that better. So load it up. I will change the graphic. Okay, VCS Stradle. Do you want me to read the instructions, or are you reading the instructions? Uh, I have a wiki first. Okay. A dreidel or dreidel? I don't know. Dreidel. Dreidel. Dreidel is how I Romanized said it. Romanized dreidel. Yeah. It's a four-sided spinning top played during the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah. Each side of the dreidel bears a letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Nun, Gimel, He, and Shin. I'm mispronouncing at least one of those. These letters are represented in Yiddish as a mnemonic for the rules of a gambling game derived from teetotum played with a dreidel. Nun stands for the word uh, not, meaning nothing. Mm -hmm. Gimel, Gantz, entire or whole. Hai for half. And Shin for put in. However, according to folk entomology, they represent the Hebrew phrase, a great miracle happened there, referring to the miracle of the cr cruise of oil. Cruise. Cruise. Yeah. Um, for this reason, most dreidels in Israel will replace the letter shin with the letter pei to represent the phrase, a great miracle happened here. However, many Haredi communities insist that the letter shin should be used in the Holy Land as well because reference to there means holy temple, not in the land. <laughs> well, not mandated for Hanukkah. <laughs> it's mandated you must play dreidel. <laughs> the only traditional mitzvot are lighting candles and saying the full hallel. Spinning the dreidel is a traditional game played during the holidays, holidays. around this time. Yeah. Astronaut Jeffrey A. Hoffman spun a dreidel for an outer an hour in outer space. Oh, neat. Because there would be very little resistance other than air particles in the space yeah, station. so it would just It would spin, spin, oh, spin. Oh, that's cute. You'd also have to make sure it didn't hit the side of something so you had to be very precise mm -hmm. with it okay so uh let's do it so it's extremely simple and this is what i remember is um depending on what what side of the dreidel comes up it's it's a betting game right in a way um so you start off with 15 gelts mm. um so that's like your yeah, your money there. i suppose and yep. at the beginning of each turn every player contributes one gelt to the pot just one so there's yep. no multiple betting of five or whatever. No, and then, not really betting, but um, yeah. uh, on your turn, um, so you hit the fire button when it's your turn. Yep. Um, and then there's four possible results. None, which means nothing happens. Gimel, player wins the whole pot. So all four, if there's four people playing? four. The player whose turn it is, you yep. get the pot, and then everyone else has to put one back in. So the pot always has four gelt. Everyone puts one back everyone in. Everyone puts one back in yes. to continue playing. Yeah. Hey, player wins half of the pot. Rounded down. Rounded down. And then Shin contribute one one gelt to the pot. So mm. so you have to put one. You one lose in. an extra one. You that lose turn. one. That okay. Turn. Yeah. 
Got um, it. So it's 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 fairly simple game to play. Uh, in this version of the Dreidel game, play can continue indefinitely, so you just keep playing. Yeah. Players can be forced to give up guilt if they have it to give. Okay. So it looks like this is a four-player game, and it up just continues. Four, it Do you pick if you... Is there a... Oh, I see one. Oh, I see. Zero, one, two. Two. Zero plays itself? I don't know. Or it's just like spinning a drill. Ah! Zero is just nothing happens. So we'll play two. Okay, player one. You are blue, I'm guessing? I'm guessing. Okay, okay so I have 15. Okay, now you have 14 and it put four. Because I guess there's computer players? Yeah. So you just won because you Girl, got. Oh, I got the, the whole, whole pot. Woohoo! And then everyone has to put. So now it's your turn. So this I'm going to go down to 12. And there's eight in the pot? What? Eight in the. You just won it all. I'm a little confused. Yeah. No. Oh, nothing. Third player. Paused for oh, a I see. very so the, sharp the computer, period of time. The computer is playing. Yes. What'd they get? They got Gimmel. Oh, they won God. the pot. Why is it eight? I'm, I'm confused by that. That's yeah. okay. So And then they got Shin, so they had to contri contribute one to the pot. So they're down to eight. So, okay. Okay, now it's your so, turn again. Yeah, anyway. Twelve and thirteen. All right, so, so contribute one to the pot. So now it's your turn. Do you? Do I don't you... know what that eighteen is. Revenge. What is he? Oh, there's revenge. Welcome. Hello. Hello, we're in a foot as well. What's that one? That uh, was hay. hay. Half the pot. Okay. So is. I don't know yeah, what I'm that confused. Yellow is. Is that the pot? It can't be eight. It's not. It's not the pot. I don't know what that is. Oh, who's winning? Uh, hey, half the pot. So, player three definitely. Oh no, you you did really well. You well, must have I won the pot. I don't know how I got that. <laughs> so now it's down to eight. I'm oh, down to six. People are winning half the pot, and it stays in the pot. I don't know, but it said I'm I'm a little confused by that. Yeah, because so you won I, all of it one turn. I, it says I won the pot though. Am I blue? Yes, you are. See, I I'm did green. go back up. I did go back up. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. What? Okay, yeah, I went to 20, to 19. The pot is 8. 8, how, 19. How is the pot 8? Are we adding 4 at the beginning of each turn? Oh, at the beginning of each turn. Okay, that makes sense. It's why it's 8. At the beginning of each round, you add another one in. But That's people why... are winning, and it's not going to 0 or 4 ever. Oh, fair, player 4 is out. It's my turn then. Yeah. Are they out? Let's see. Can, Can they come back in? <laughs> I don't think so. You have no money for the pot. <laughs> <laughs> there, the are, there, are, there are a number of Jewish people out in the audience laughing their asses off at this <laughs> right now. <laughs> the simplest game any child can play. Yeah. Um, so hay is when wins half the pot. Okay. I've, yeah, okay. Go ahead. So we are adding four every time. That makes sense. Every turn. I have never seen it go down to four, though. No. Even when somebody wins the whole thing, it I was, doesn't I'm go down little, to four. I was a little confused by is that. It, That's okay. Is there an error? Maybe? Maybe it starts a little higher. I don't know. Yeah. Let's go down to six. I took a look at the source of Batari Base Gamma. Pressed you've worked, uh, you worked in that mess of code. At this time, you're giving incredible support all these years. Mm. Ah, yes. Oh, your turn again. Oh, four, player Camel. four is back in. So you can never be out, like, even after you're at zero. Okay, that's a little strange. Yes. You would think you would just go out. You'd have nothing. You wouldn't have anything to give back to the pot. You can't participate if you have nothing left. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just automatically win well, half the pot. Or <laughs> There's something a little off in the logic of this. Yeah, I think. Or we're not understanding it. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe maybe you get an extra so four to, for me. To, to, to play the round. And well, this, I'm going to read out um, right. what I missed. Yeah, it is. Everyone adds, adds one back. Okay. Um, you add one. This is for Mean Santa. Everyone's just re-added one. 
The Atari 2600 Connection was a paper magazine whose first issue launched in the Atari uh, summer of 1990. Around the launch of the 90th issue, the producers of the magazine decided that issue 100 would be the final one produced. But they wanted to do something special to mark the occasion. They reached out to me to see if I would be interested in helping them make a commemorative Atari game. The final issue of the Atari 2600 Connection was targeted for July, August 2009, which seemed to be enough to put something together. Somehow, I agreed to take the job, and with that, Mean Santa on the Atari 2600 was born. After 10 years, we collectively decided to celebrate the anniversary, so I released the source code here and posted the binary online. So version 75 is the last version ever released, so you can download Mean Santa, the game we are just playing. Lots mm -hmm. of fun. Very challenging on the mm -hmm. high levels. Um, I don't have a huge history of major hits for the Atari 2600 homebrew scene. I personally replaced, uh, released Pressure Gauge, which we did play, around the year 2000, which had minimal graphics and gameplay. My Steam Tom Tunnel Bob demo was about the most ambitious project that I published in 2008, which we played as well, up to the point that you could, because it wasn't finished, but never fully materialized into a full game. I'd learned a few tricks with that demo, which would help me with the f implementation work for Mean Santa. There are a few reasons why the game may feel a little bit limited to new players. Immediately, players will notice that Santa's sleigh is lacking reindeer. This was because I did not want to resort to stretched graphic for Santa. I also didn't have a second spread available for the reindeer. But he he made that up for the story. Like, he had to get rid of the reindeer mm. to have a more efficient sleigh. Um, on the flying screen, there's a lot going on in the later levels. The houses move. They're, oh, we must have changed that they didn't move. There are snowflakes flying everywhere, and there are eventually lightning clouds and snow. I didn't want to use flicker, so I dripped the ornamental, dropped the ornamental reindeer as a design decision. Mm. Another limitation was the cartridge was mandated to be a maximum of 8K. That didn't give me much space to play with. Um, decided, decided to use uh, two kernels, one for the flying screen, one for inside the houses. When I released an early demo for testing, I received some unexpected feedback. Some people said the game was too easy. Mm -mm. It's not impossible. The, the hard mode isn't. The early levels are easy, but that's... Hard mode's not They're easy. meant to be easy, you know. Uh, while others let their kids play, the game said it was way too hard. Um, On the easy mode, I think it's uh, yeah, a good level for kids. I think the e easy mode is good because you houses. don't have the chimneys to worry about. Yeah, so, yeah. I think it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. That was what prompted me to make three difficulty levels. Oh, we only had one before. Unfortunately, with space being so limited, the hard levels simply added more houses to the maximum number that must be completed to finish the game. I think a lot of people were put off by the game because they would start on easy mode, which had no chimneys. Then they would plow through the game, finish it quickly, and thinking the game was too easy. Mm. Yeah, you should not. When they selected medium, they see the move, game moved a little bit faster than the chimneys were added, but the levels were exactly the same as slow mode. I'm guessing that many players turned it off at that point, not realizing there are appended levels where a lot of fun, difficulty waiting for them. Yes. Mm. If players wanted to try this game for themselves, I recommend you doing a favor and start on hard mode. Maybe medium. Uh, the initial levels will be the same as easy and medium, but the farther you get in the game, it's quite challenging. Mm -hmm. I find my hands sweating on later levels of the game. Yeah. It can get pretty exciting. As an added incentive, I hid three achievements that players can unlock in the game. That I think that Mean Santa may have been the first Atari 2600 game with that had achievements. As far as I know, as far as I know, that's it is the first one. Um, I have not played another one that has one so yeah um if you finish any of the three base levels a game easy medium hard with a certain amount of time you unlock a slighter harder variant of that level finishing hard mode in limited amount of time to unlock the final mode is not easy no fail to land on a house you have to wait for it to loop around yeah you're, it's pretty much over if you're too aggressive it could cost you lives and you'll never see the ending you become a real nail biter so are you gonna play mean santa i have some recommendations yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know that. We all know that. Mm -hmm. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy Mean Santa. I really enjoyed the work that I did for the project. I think it's fun, an overlooked gem for the system. If you feel like, if you like playing it, feel free to post a review and let me know about it. My handle on atariage.com is propane13. Good luck and happy Excellent. holidays. Lovely. Yes. So this is probably a good game for kids. Uh, yeah, four, and to learn how kids. to play it. And yeah. um, uh, yep. if Anything I had about counting, if I had one thing, I think it needs to pause between the second player mm. ending and the computer starting because you don't even see what you got. It, yes. it moves, so you almost want to hit the button to let the computer run through. And possibly yeah. noises for different results. Oh, that would be like, nice too. Yeah. Or yeah. Or bang. Like, yeah. Just so. 
just like the positives and the negatives or yeah. something would be good too because then then you 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 catch on to it but uh no it's a nice little simple game and yeah. i mean dreidel is a simple game and mm -hmm. uh, yep he translated as good as yeah, it could i think to... he did a good job okay so we're gonna move on to santa simon which is actually for the 7800 so i'm gonna set that up for us um so is anybody else uh zooming or skyping or video conferencing oh with yeah their, we have with their uh, family today and how's that going with older people trying yeah. to figure it out <laughs> yeah. actually most people are pretty uh, They've learned. savvy by now so there's a really good lead time well i think, I think. it helps that if if a person has a has a phone or a cell oh, phone yeah. that makes they can so just facetime or they just have to hit accept call so it feels like a phone yes. i think it's harder if you're trying to do it on a computer and click on apps but if it, it does help yeah thrust 26 yesterday 220 skype with family yes yeah. yeah we had one this morning we're gonna have at least two more this one afternoon around dinner. yeah um my sister as well we have to uh see how the kid they're her she's got two two younger kids one is um oh my goodness uh, yeah seven and ten so they're right at the the toy age you know they're really into getting their christmas presents so. <laughs> yes. um so Still i'm excited to them. see them yeah i was talking to my my parents and they've already skyped with them and apparently it looks like a bomb's gone off oh my god like there's just we were stuff good. everywhere we had something set aside for the paper <laughs> after every time we well, opened a present it went into the yeah the we bag. just have to deal with cats too not kids so it's not so bad yeah but um, we had to open the presents for the cats even though they did try they tried to tear it apart they, with their teeth they did but yeah pixel gave me a look of like can you take this out please <laughs> okay fine open it. yeah yeah okay santa simon it is a very simple game nice so i really i you you click through but the um opening screen is beautiful this one yeah is well, it Atari 7800 this is the screen oh my god sorry for your ears uh that's better. Yeah. Turn it down in here. Actually, I have to listen a bit. So, mm. oops. So in this, it is the game Simon. Mm. So. Oh, you're hitting the buttons? Fairly simple. It's okay. up, down, left, right. Okay. I, uh... Up, down, left, right? Yeah. And it's oh. Z to start, Z and X. So down, and then up. Okay, now it'll add three. And I think, I believe, when this came out, people were praising the audio from it, because it's got samples, which are fairly difficult to do in 2600 and 7800. Um, it says, Santa's uh, workshop elves need a sharp mind if they're to correctly build the millions of toys needed for Christmas every year. <laughs> With that in mind, Santa's developed a program he calls Santa Simon to help the elves improve their memory. The premise is pretty simple. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, it's probably too loud. All you need to do is remember the sequence that the Christmas tree, reindeer, snowman, and Santa signal to you and then play back that sequence in the proper order using your joystick controller. How many moves can you memorize before slipping up? Santa Simon was only available in cartridge form for a limited time in the Atari Age store during our 2006 holiday sale. Uh, and this is made by a, sh a schmutz puppy. Schmutz puppy. Uh, came out um, December 23rd, 2006. A 48K uh, program. And Smutch, schmutz puppy says, Simon type games are well known, but the inspiration to make a Christmas style game of it came from a little flash game called Xmas Simon. I found it mid-November, thought it was a nice and simple idea, and I started coding Santa Simon the same evening I found Xmas Simon. Most of the code was done within two days, and since I'm not a great artist, I looked around the internet for some graphics I can use. <laughs> graphics you see in the game are based on free gifts I found while looking for some X Xmas graphics. Big thanks to the unknown authors. Uh, when I was sure I could finish the game before Christmas, I asked Albert if he likes the idea to re release a Christmas-type game for the 7800. He agreed and gave me very helpful feedback about the work in progress. Ah. I'm very glad. What did you make it up to? Seven. Wow. So that'd be eight things. I was like, was there a Santa in the tree or just the tree? Mm. Schmutz puppy equals dirt puppy. <laughs> schmutz, schmutz, schmutz means dirt. So dirty puppy. Yeah. yeah. Dirt doll? <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
Cool, I ran to the limit really quick. I have many state checks in the new Eggventure. Eggventure! Mm -hmm. Yes! Please, we're looking forward to that. Did you play that? Why was with Darcy? It's a very cool... Probably Darcy. Kind of... A action puzzle-y game where you fly around as a bird and collect eggs. Um, very, very challenging. Uh, I'm very glad he wanted to make a cartridge out of it, even though the timeline was very short. When I saw a bunch of stuff in the store for Christmas sale, I thought he was definitely going to have enough work, even without Santa Simon. Albert was the one who managed that Atari boy made a great label for the game. I really love it. In other words, a Santa Simon cart wouldn't be made without him. Thanks, man. And he said, yearly, uh, one year after it was released, he posted nearly one year ago now. Anybody ha found the hidden screen? Hmm... It's probably on the game over. Because if you just play it properly, you'll never find a hidden screen, right? So you'd have to do something out of the ordinary. I think the animations and sounds help memorize rather than just mm -hmm. colors. For people watching, it's like, what is going on? Because you, you, they don't know when you're pressing it or when they're, it's playing it back. Well, you can, you can probably see me click the button. That's true. Yeah, you can. Can't she beat her score? Scum Software says, I was pushing for a release by the end of this year. It's almost complete and plays like a completely new game. The deaf, deaf limit really slowed things down. Deaf limit. I'm not sure what that is. Might be a typo. This is, this is hit the limit of my memory. <laughs> I think... On average, people can only memorize five or seven things, distinct things, but depends what it is. This has muscle memory involved as well. It's not like, I think they usually bring out a tray of items and they get you to look at it. Having him it talk while I'm trying to do this really help. helps nothing. <laughs> I've already forgotten my pattern because you were you were talking to me. Oh no, I'm sorry. Sounds like a variable zone. Def is Batari Basics defined statement. There's a limit of 50 in the code. Oh, okay. I guess that's for constants or variables? Defining variables or constants? I mean, 50... I mean, you should have unlimited constants because you can... They're just constants. Or maybe not, but uh, it sounds more like a variable limit, I would think. So my puzzle state tracking has reached a limit. Puzzle state. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, but crap. Eleven. Actually, there's a write-up, and this is. Oh, I wanted to also talk about this. This is Arena Foot's book. Appropriate for today again. If you're going to be playing any holiday homebrews, you should get the Atari 2600 Holiday Homebrew Companion. Because it has all the 2600 games uh, released up to a certain point, um, probably a couple years ago. I can't remember exactly. Um, and it has... It does not have the VCS dreidel, and that was last year, so at least up to 2018 then. But it does have Mean Santa um, on page 193. And these are great reference books because they have a lot. He's gathered like everything that was ever posted on uh, about these games. Let's see if there's anything that I don't have. 
So Mean Santa was released a uh, hundred of them at first in 2009 and then it was now it's in an unlimited release for $25 on 2600connection.com uh, the NTSC version yeah the hard mode had 5 plus 10 plus 10 25 plus one final hard house 14 oh my god I can't I would never make it up this high diabolical dog Oh, and he's got both of the graphics for the different cartridges, the limited and unlimited. Oh, while well, the game has some similar nods to Dragonfire, collect all the items, the game designer was really inspired ah! by the Holloway... 14! Oh! Amazing! So don't press fire. I bet there's, like... My top. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, my brain is... is, is, is that's, that's epic for me. 14 in a row? What are you doing? Oh, you're trying to find the secret thing? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no idea. And nobody had in the... Um, Whew. That is amazing. 14? I would never 14 while he's talking in my ear the whole time, too. I'm, like, trying to memorize, and I'm like, blah, blah. blah. I'm like, shut him out, shut him out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't a, listen to him while he's playing. Incredible job. Oh. I think I could get up to maybe eight or nine. Fourteen is a lot. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, so when the limit is... Uh, oh, I see. Fire live, then blah, blah. You have Wait, to use uh, if, dip, switch, blah, five, five, yeah. and it sucks. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that that's... I mean, there's not much to that game. Do it's you want to try it? Or? No, no. You, you showed exactly what it was about. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. It's a cute little game, though. Yeah, it is. It's it's good for kids again. Again, it's a simple game, and those yeah. simple games are fun to play until until you feel like your brain's fried. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think at fourteen, oh my god, a sequence like that. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it has a three-digit score. I know someone hits three digits playing that. I mean, Simon no, is a hard no. game. It's a You'd hard game. You have to write it down. For sure. Oh no! You don't. That's that that that's a, it's at a hundred against against playing the game. You're supposed to you not have to write have it a down. Very special mind yeah. to be able to. Fourteen <laughs> was a lot. I I was quite surprised I got that high up. Revenge. I'm the worst at these Simon type games. <laughs> yeah, I would be too as well. Oh, this sweater's so hot. Uh, you have a T-shirt on underneath? No, oh. no, I know that's for sure. It's the lights that get you after this a while. Drive me crazy. Oh come on! No, don't take it down. Leave it. Can I move Leave it? it. I need to move it. Oh, I have the. What is on it? No, I just have. I stuck the things next oh, to it. Okay. So if you need to move it, take it off and move it. Move Where? it. Move it to the far, far side there. There you go. Okay. There you go. So we're gonna be playing Bite Before Christmas, and I actually have this on cartridge in Ooh. the box look at this amazing box art it's he a, does not want to like open it present. though so we're gonna i have it. to no I, oh you are it's okay. not been released on rom on ah. binary so we, this is the only way to play it Excellent. and i bought this yeah because i knew that we would play this is the only way to play it yeah we played one of these games before um or maybe two yeah. but the other two are have not been released in binary let's see if i can do it without damaging the top it's always the challenge. Hooray! That's beautiful. And it has beautiful. not been damaged before. So there's four games in this. Naughty List, Bellhopper, which we played, mm. Santa Scabs, and Christmas Adventure. I think mm. we may have played Naughty Look List as well. how pretty it is. Oh, the cartridge is Oh, it's gorgeous. such a lovely cartridge. Can you see it? I don't know. Yeah, they had a... Uh, yeah. The bike oh, yeah, you Christmas. can definitely see that. I mean, it's the same as the box, which is... Really, really nice. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. And the manual, same as well. Mm -hmm. The back. Very, very nice. Christmas so for themed. quite a while there, Atari Age was releasing um, Christmas themed or holiday themed. <laughs> yeah. No box damage. A Christmas miracle. Yeah, yeah. It is. Oh my God, it's so hard to open. James is opening a box. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> and you could write in here, it says, this book belongs to, and write your name. Oh, cute. If you really want to do that. Yeah. Um, so we'll put this in. Mm -hmm. We can take a look. Let me switch over before I turn it on because there might be, I don't think I've ever even played this. Might be an intro screen. 
Hmm. Oh, snowflake away. coming oh. down. Don't touch it. No, no, no. I, I was like, <laughs> is it is it playing right away? A bite before Christmas. Jared Kitchen. Select a nice. game. Santa's Scouts by Jared Kitchen. Oh, the Grinch. <gasps> oh, how cute is that? Cute. Oh, the music is great. <gasps> Very nice. Okay, there are four games in this. Santa Scabs, which we'll start with. Mm -hmm. So load it up. Naughty List, Bellhopper, Christmas Adventure. Okay. Yep. Bellhopper needs uh, the paddles, so I will plug those in when we okay. get to that one. So, Santa Scabs, do I need to know anything? Um, how to play Santa Scabs. In order to gain entry into the workshop, you must first collect three magic lumps of coal to render the elves vulnerable and disarm the blockade spell they've cast on their barricade. Move the joystick in any direction, position your player, and press the fire button to kick a striking elf off the face in the face for points. Each time you kick a key elf, you will reveal the location of a magic coal. Go grab it. Once you have collected enough coal, the elves will all turn blue with fright and lose their magical protection. Destroy as many as you please to earn points. Then <laughs> climb the barricade and square off against the union boss. Fight him with all of your skill and you'll be able to enter the workshop. Save the day and earn your pay. <laughs> so here, oh, the elf is walking. There are a lot of anti-union games I've noticed in Atari Age. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, Interesting. Mm. Okay. Or and no pro-union because you're. Oh, oh, look at the whoops. animation on the guy. That's not very good. No. What am I doing? Oh, look at the kick! Wow. Sir, look these at the animation. are no. Oh, what is going on? I'm you're sliding. Running into them. No, I'm like going up and I'm like jumping up two levels or something. Oh, you have to kick them in the face. In the face? Oh. From the front or from behind? Pro oh, it says in the face, so I'm guessing you have to kick them from the front. And oh. That'll reveal coal, so you have to go get the coal, which looks like it's up at the house. I don't understand. Oh, you died, so you have to press the button. So go get that coal. No. Or not? No. You have to You have to kill them all first, I think. Oh, what's going on? Do I have to go backwards? Let's see. Say that again. Describe the... Press the fire button to kick a stri striking elf in the face for points. Each time you kick a key elf... Ah, uh, the key elf's underlined. Oh, I see. Um, you will reveal the location of a magic piece of coal. Oh, I have to do in it. In the face. Uh. There's the coal. Hopefully, it doesn't say it disappears. Okay, so. that makes sense. Oh, jeez. No, it, get it's it, in between. Get it. It's in between. Ugh. I have to get it in between. Get it now. Like, the, see? Now, now, now. There we go. That Up and sense. down like Frogger moves a lot at a time, it says. Yes, oh. it does. Yeah, I was like jumping across two does levels. It, does it move like the whole level? Oh. There's no half work. levels? Is that how it works? Yeah, oh. kind of. That's why I was like, whoa, what just happened? <laughs> Uh, what just happened? So your lives are in the bottom left, I'm guessing. Is there a timer? What's it? Oh! Oh my god. It is like Frogger. So Got to get out of the way of that. Wow. Oh, it does move. So you can turn them around if they're coming for you. Yeah. So you can kind of... There you go. Oh, this is really... <laughs> it's Yeah, I'll get it. Bellhopper and Christmas Adventure are the standouts, Nathan Strom said. I reviewed it a couple of years ago. Ah. Agreed. What's the meaning of keeping it blank? Unless you want to sell it later, that is. I just like keeping it exactly as it came. So that... Um, and I don't like scribbling in things. Um, so, Santa awoke to the sound of high-pitched voices chanting outside his bedroom. Shaking the sleep from his head, he tried to focus on what the voices were saying. Ho, ho, ho! Hey, hey, hey! Santa Claus has got to pay! Ho, ho, ho! Hey, hey, hey! If he wants to save the day! He got up, raised his sleeve, and cleared part of the frosty glass of his bedroom window. He could then see there were hundreds of elves marching in line, shouting the, shouting the chant over and over. Throwing the sash open, he stuck his head out in the cold air and shouted, What's the meaning of this? Why aren't you all working in the toy shop? Tomorrow is Christmas Day. The elf boss stepped up, stepped forward and spoke. 
We're tired of working around the clock. We want our salaries doubled. I want Christmas off. We've joined the EU. The European Union, asked Santa with some confusion. No, you big dummy, the Elf Union. <laughs> and nobody's getting into the toy shop until our demands are met. Oh my. And with that, the elves continue their chanting and marching. Oh my. That's right. You're a victim of the economic recession. <laughs> <laughs> and after hearing the news that Santa was hiring replacement workers, oh my goodness. you hitched a ride to the North Pole immediately. Crossing the picket lines is dangerous business. Oh but you've been my. learning the secret art, art of ninjutsu. And really, who could resist the chance to save the day and put a few bucks in his pocket, too? Oh. Game element. Bosses. Oh. At the end of each of the level, the union boss is a union boss you must defeat before you enter the toy shop, which is that, I think, red guy up there. During the boss fight, moving the joystick left to right will move the player, and moving down will cause him to duck. Uh, oh, during the boss fight. For, for offense, press up to jump and fire to kick. You can also try jumping on the boss's head to briefly stun him before attempting an attack. You must kick a boss multiple times in the face to defeat him, then enter the workshop by crossing his threshold. So you get uh, 5 points for kicking an elf, 25 points for collecting a lump of coal, 75 points for killing an elf, 300 points for killing a boss, bonus ninja every 2,500 points. Elf picket lines. Avoid or deflect the marching elves, uh, but seek out the key elf. He looks like a regular elf, except that your amazing ninja intuition marks him with a glowing blue shadow beneath his feet. The key elf knows where the next lump of magic coal is. Show him what it's like. Show him what the bottom of your shoe looks like. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them all. I know. Ah! Oh, you're at the boss. You can jump with up as well if you need to. Well, he jumps too. I don't know what the point of that is. Oh, you did it. Go inside. Do -do. Time to earn some pay. <laughs> Woo, scabs! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, politicizing Christmas. <laughs> oh, next level. Uh, oh my goodness. What is that dot in the top corner? <gasps> Bonus timer. Oh, the toy shop lights turn on one at a time, acting like a clock. The faster you complete the level, the bigger the bonus. 50 points per remaining bulb. It's already down two. How are you supposed to ever get it at the top? The timer runs out, a murderous elf and a Zamboni begins driving back and forth across a bottom yeah. safe row. Ah. Each time oh. you kick an elf, the picket lines Too and quick. the union bosses get, uh, bosses get angrier and faster. Then only your death will sate their rage and return their speed to normal. I don't know how you're ever supposed to complete it before that timer is done. Um, no, I think it's doable. Yeah. So if you kick them, they turn around. So that's how you do it. Oh. Ugh, and then you die. My turn. Your turn. Looks like fun. <laughs> oh, I don't need that. Oh. Right J-Rock did a great job on this one. I wonder where he's up to it nowadays. I saw him on YouTube archives that you played all his other games. He had lots of good ones. Oh, oh I need to get up there. Oh, my God. Got too close. Oh my god. Yeah, he moves... Why well, doesn't move too fast left and right? But he does jump up and down. So you have to kind of position yourself um, horizontally, and then you move vertically through the lump of coal. So you can't kick them in the back. It doesn't do anything, so that's pointless. So I have to wait for them to turn around. Or you have to go around the other side to turn them around. It's like that. now I have to wait for him to turn around here. So the timer's ticking down. Oh my god. See, that's dangerous. You die almost instantly. Oh my god. You have to be really careful. Because it only gives you like half a second after you kick him. But he should turn around when you kick him. Let me see. Oh, because I'm getting too close. So you kick him, he turns around. Yeah. But don't be like right at the edge because he'll turn around again. Yes. And get you. Yeah. I see. Yeah. 
It's not too bad. No. So if you if you should wait a bit after he turns around. Oh, and you can dive yeah, from the other being, guy too. You're being a lot more precise than I was. It's very frogger esque. Yes. Yeah. They get faster and faster. And then. And you climb on the wall. I see. I moved up too fast. I didn't mean to climb up that quickly, but I accidentally kind of hit hit two levels. So I got it before the you did. timer. It's not went that down. bad. It's totally no. doable. Okay. I wasn't being t precise enough with my up-down movement. I was panicking. <laughs> and then jumping up levels, and it's like, oh. But it's not It's not, It's not. not that too difficult. No, it's not. No. Oh, oh who's coming? Who is it? Hello, sir. It's Atari. Hello, Christmas cat. Oh, my God. Come here, come here. Come here, Christmas cat. Meow. Oh, oh. It's free for all. Oh no! Damn it! I accidentally climbed up. Yeah, there. it says, and then I've done the same thing. He gotcha. Oh, oh, oh can I can start get over. back down. Oh, that's, oh, that's kind of cool. good. You only have one life though. Ah, uh, okay. And back at the beginning. I can do better. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's this same guy. They do move faster. Oh, I'm being too. Merry haphazard. Christmas, Goku. Hey, Goku. Oh, hi, hi. And Atari has entered the chat. Hello, sir. Who just did something? Goku. Goku subscribed with Prime. Thank you so much. I died reading out your name. Oh, no. Oh. It's okay. There are four games on this? Yep. Oh, wow. Oh. Yay. Subscribed. Oh, who? Goku. Oh, followed then subscribed? Thank you. Oh, sorry, it was that didn't show up on the screen. Most recent sub. It flashed up on the on our screen, but not on the other one, I don't think. Anyway, it's all good. Most recent sub is not working. No. What is happening? Yeah, I don't know. Oops. Oh, there we go. Just took a bit. Thank you, Goku. <laughs> yes. Glad you're enjoying the show. Ah. If you hit so if you if you hit the one behind you when they turn around, they'll yeah. reverse. So so that's one way to get the blue guy to walk towards you. Uh, but you can't do it I there, but no. if you're in between Oh yes. You can just hit the other guy and he'll come up faster. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way is getting in between. Yeah. But it's dangerous. It is. But I, I did do that at least once. I was like, Oh, okay, that's a good tactic. Oh no! Should I oh, what? Did it start over? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, you lost all your lives. Oh my god! <laughs> it's, it's more challenging than you think. I'm just gonna die. Can you still dodge roll? Is there a dodge roll? Oh, you mean at the boss? Um, I'll have to try. At the boss, or? Yeah, because you can't do anything but kick here. Here, yeah. Oh. Ah! I'm just Sorry, die. Atari. I'm just Sorry, die on buddy. Purpose. Die on purpose. I want all my lives. This is not easy. No. My gift precise. to you. Well, yeah. thank you. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Let's play it. Because there's there is a timer, so you do want to be a little bit careful. Ugh. You can go in between. They do perfect. immediately reverse, so that's the only thing once you kick them. So you have to be aware that Very that's going to happen. Yeah. Good job. I do want extra lives, so. Do you get and extra lives and with the points? It's worth way more kicking them than it is the bonus at the top. <gasps> oh, no. Ah! Oh, that's okay. They don't all come back. Yeah, but I lost a life. I know. Oh, you can kick him from behind. Only in this bonus. Okay, so I'm going to do a down. No. No. It does reverse. That's good. No, good you can't job. do rolls. You can't, you can't yeah, do rolls. Yeah, I don't notice a roll there. No. Good job. Dodge roll. Thank you.
That's an easy lump of coal to get. Oh god. Ah. Yeah, it's annoying. Oof. Go up here. Oh. How was there's there are two oh yeah. I have to. No, you kick have to them. go in between. You have to go in between. Oh, I know. Them. But they were Which so lined up. Yeah. Like I had to do that. Oh. Oh, this game is infuriating and it's not easy. No. That was an easy one. I need points. Getting the free life is 2,500 or 1,500. Well, I don't know. I didn't get a life at 1,500, so. Hopefully at 2,000. Yeah, these, these are worth a lot, these guys. No. You didn't get it. He's jumping now. Mm hmm. He's jumping now. Ah! Oh, he's happy. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, I don't think there is a, a roll. It didn't say anything about a roll. Let me just see. Um, moving down will cause him to duck, which I didn't see either. But there is no. No, there is no roll. No, mm. that that is a cool move. So you can roll under him. That oh, would have been when he's really jumping. Really cool. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know why he was taken out. Maybe space limitations Possible. because there would be extra animations mm -hmm. and you know the code to do it too okay we're gonna move on to the next one which is i don't know what's the second one on here it is i love this snowflake coming down christmas adventure by todd holcomb bellhopper bellhopper uh, uh well in the manual it's christmas adventure and i'd have you to change do that one the, christmas we'll do the, adventure we'll do the bellhopper last okay yeah. Christmas adventure next? Yes. I see the Grinch has been up to his old tricks, you say to yourself. Go for it. As you survey the devastation of Whoville. <gasps> game one. We'll just play game one. Press button. Nope. Okay. Move around. Yep. Uh, once again, he's managed to steal all of Whoville's presents and frighten off all the residents. The town was no match for the Grinch, his dog Max, and his band of evil toys. Well, the Grinch has escaped with a sack of stolen presents to his lair in the mountains. Max and the evil toys continue to wreak havoc in the town. Ooh, candy cane. Very nice. Ah, what am I ooh. doing? What am I doing? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing with the candy cane? Your goal of Christmas adventures return the sack of stolen presents back to your home. The candy cane, break the toys with it. So you can actually hurt that, hurt that toy when he comes here. Oh. Good. Did it work? I think you can pick it up again, too. There you go. Yep, it worked. Interesting. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, oh. There's no easy task since you must fend off three evil toys. The Nutcracker, the Toy Robot. That is a uh, Max the Dog. He's a frolicking thief. Oh. So you can hurt him with the... Yeah, with but I can't, I can't get ahead of him. That's the problem. Oh. So this is my home. Yeah. Okay. Revenge says you can hit him with the candy cane. Yeah, but I you have to be placed sideways of him. But your game is getting played. What? <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Oh, Carl G's here. Hey, Carl G. Hey, Carl G. We played your oh. game already. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> you need your candy cane. Find it. I think game one is always in the same spot. No, it, no? I I think it went oh, back. It changed. It went back to where I dropped it, maybe. Maybe. That's not good. There's a Christmas tree. Very nice. Very yes. nice backgrounds. Oh, that's the dog. Um, if you can knock out these toys gone wild, you'll have to deal with Grinch himself. Unfortunately, the Grinch is a th thick skull and the calcified candy will do him no harm. Nice. However, he can briefly be turned into the good side by giving him a small present, allowing yourself a brief window of opportunity to swipe the sack of presents. Be aware the Grinch's dog Max is also on the loose, swiping items and making your mission more difficult. I think he was carrying something, too. I think he was carrying the candle. But you need to light the torches in dark rooms. Dark rooms! Glad you're playing it. There's dark rooms in this game. <laughs> Not a fan of the dark rooms. No. Um, I hate mazes more. Oh, here's a dark here's room. Dark room. Oh, I can't get past that. I think you need the torch. Um, so the items are time. the candy cane, which you've seen. The magnet, which you have not seen. The presents turn the Grinch 
temporarily good. Candle lights up the to lights up dark rooms, which you need it to go in that one. I think that some oh the 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 dog had the candle. The dog, yeah. So you have to smack the dog. Or can you? Probably. Yeah, you probably can, but he he tends to travel in straight lines. Yeah, like makes from it top difficult. to bottom. Interesting. It's like the sword in adventure, the candy cane. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Level one, Nutcracker and toy robot enemies respawning only after the player's death. So they don't come back after you've killed them. Oh, good. Yeah, so it makes it quite a bit easier. A... Oh, oh, it is a room. They're rooms. They're homes. Oh, I have oh. to search the homes. There's a present, so you need that. Oh. And you have to... Bring it back to my home. Yes. So it makes sense to have the candy cane kill the things. Oh, no, that turns the Grinch good temporarily. What That's does? That's what that... The, the present. Oh, you need to return the sack of stolen presents, and the Grinch oh. has the sack. So you need that nearby the Grinch. Where's the Grinch is the question. We haven't seen him yet. Oh, more houses. No, this is where I was. Oh, okay. So what do I... Can Did I drop this? Did you go in the this? third one? Did you go in the third one? I kind of want to kill that dog. Yeah, it's probably I best think to I need kill the dog, all the enemies But first. I guess the question is... Have you gone? Okay. No, nothing. I haven't. Oh, there he is. <gasps> Come back. Oh. He just disappeared. Go follow him. No, he went up. Oh, can't follow him you there. You weren't paying attention. No, I wasn't. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, get him. Get him. Oh, oh. follow him. Follow him. Oh, he might you need back. that candle. I know. I have to hit him from the side. But I yeah. keep dropping it. I keep thinking I have to hit the button, but you don't. You oh, just you run just straight him. into him. Okay. I don't. I, had, I didn't. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, get out. Run. Come, Come back. Through. Go out, go around. No, no, I don't no. think it's that simple. Went into that room. Yeah, but... No. Maybe. Maybe he's going across the rooms. Mm. Mm. Uh, we'll find out. Wait for him to loop back? Uh, maybe. He kind of goes... It goes, goes in. random. Because he was going up and down before. And then he reverse course. Uh, go look around some more. Kind of like, should I put the present back in my... I would leave it out in the open so you can yeah. find it easy rather than a room. But you really need to get... There! Oh. Get him! Get him! Oh, I have to hit him from the side. Yeah, I know. You, I know, and unfortunately here I can go here. Yeah. I can't I can't do anything else. I have to face him or he'll get me. Well, I don't know if he gets me, but... I need that dude... Why is he keep keeps looking. showing up in very annoying places? Go to go to different places. You're going like three places. Well, I don't know where else to go. Just keep looking for him. Um, it's like a one-way path. Is it? Yes. Where does that lead to? Here. What? Is down? <gasps> what? Get that. Get that. Okay. Dropped it for some reason. <laughs> I never dropped it. No, he, he did. did. He did. Now you have to go to the dark area. But wait, wasn't that... Oh, he dropped it for the present. He dropped oh, it for the present. the present. He stole the present, but who cares? Right it's now, I fine. don't need it. Yeah. No, it wasn't this one. Where was it? That's my home. It was. Was it at the end of? It was at the end of that long passage, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, I, I think it was. Of course, everything's That's lit, okay. so you don't know. Oh, there. This would be dark. Yeah, but this wasn't. I haven't been here before. I have not been here before. That's a dead end. Oh. Nothing. Okay. Uh, Nothing there yet. was at the end of that passage. Oh. There he is. I don't need him. I don't need well, it right now. Until you find the Grinch. Yeah. Then you need it. But. I think. Um, was it this side? No, it was that side. It was up and around. Deactivated style says, Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry yeah, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Where is it? It's at the end of... I know exactly where it is. Yeah? Yes, it was where I was... But, well, I don't know where he is. It's at the end of this. Oh. It's a dark area, and I came back out of it. Didn't I? Yeah, I think so. Oh, you did? Yeah, because it was a dead end, because I couldn't see, so this makes sense. Do, do, oh, my do, goodness. Do, do, do. At least you don't... I was worried that hitting the walls would kill me, but it doesn't. It's right. like, thank goodness. But you have no defenses, and you... Oh, he's got he's, the magnet now. He's got a magnet. <laughs> so he's dropped the he's present. He's dropped the present. This was... Oh, oh, then go in. And then you go in. This must be where the Grinch is. Oh. So if I drop this... 
Like, how are you supposed to bring the present? Ooh, okay. Oh. That's a Grinch. That's fine. No, you need the present. You could loop around and get it. It doesn't matter. I know the way to go now. Oh. Okay. Right? I need to know the way to go, which is up and to the left. So that's... So leave the candle there. Leave the candle here. Just in case you need it. Of course, it might get stolen, but that's okay. I need to then... So what? I need the present to, to placate the Grinch. Yes. Turns the Grinch good temporarily. And then you'll be able to... Get the present. Get the sack. And run away. And run away back to home. What was the magnet for? Uh, it's to grab things in case you put them in a spot you can't touch. <gasps> gotcha. Well, I don't need that. Then. It's it's kind of a workaround to glitches, right? Because it... So now I need to figure out where he dropped that friggin' present. Yes. Unless he's got it again. He could be in a room. Like, should have gone in there. Hmm? In that room. What room? That's my, my house. It could be in there. Yeah. This is lit, so... Oh. This is where I was. Well, this is always lit. You yeah. don't need the candle. But oh, think... oh, he was there. Go down. Go down. Go down. Oh, he's got the candle. the candle. That's fine. That's okay. I don't need he the candle. He can have the candle. No, he didn't drop no. it in here. He's dropped. So now everything, nothing is where it should be because <laughs> the rain, the... Oh, something just made a noise. I think he changed what no. he had. Was that you? That was me. Oh. So he's dropped a bunch of stuff. Now we have to figure out where he's dropped it. Where did he drop the present? I don't... Nope. Can you not hurt him? Maybe not. Nope. No. How do you get things from him? I don't know. That's a very good question. Do you just drop something and hope he takes it? Yeah, he doesn't say how to do it. I must be missing a room somewhere because yeah. he dropped the present somewhere. In one of these rooms, maybe. Once the torches are lit with the candle, they stay lit. Yeah, so oh. that's fine. I don't need the candle. He can he can have the candle. Okay. The candle's the best thing I just thing need to figure to out... See, I've, I've already been up that way. Maybe he dropped it in one of these, these side rooms. Possibly. So the try. extra levels add extra enemies. So level two adds a teddy bear enemy. Mm -hmm. And level three... Uh, uh, the enemies respawn. I don't need that. Unless a presence in the wall. I would... You've killed all the enemies, so I would take the, the magnet. the magnet? Magnet's attracted to everything. I would take oh. the magnet. Drop the candy cane. Take the well. magnet. Oh, funny. Because if Does the presence... Does it drag presence, things with me? Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't drag. Not a, across screens. So let's try... So if the presence in a wall, then you can get it. Yeah, true. Oh. I don't think it tracks no. a sack, though, because that would be very cheaty. Oh. You could try it. Uh, try it. See if it, the sack moves. It oh, does. it does. <gasps> Maybe I can get the sack that way. Not from there. Oh, it is moving closer and closer, but is he resetting? Or is it he still closes? No, he's not resetting. I would go up top. Maybe. I don't think this is... A tactic you can do it you can try. the magnet must have been heavier in the original adventure i don't think it moved things as it was attracted to itself oh no i i need no, the present you need the present but oh he's still got the candle where did he drop the present anyway the magnet's the thing i i want but where is it oh, not oh. That. I don't know. I must be missing a room somewhere. Yep. Systematically go through them all. He guards the sack. He does. He's the guardian of the sack. It says repossess this to win the quest. Do you have to take it somewhere? You bring it to your room. Back to your home. Yeah. yeah. Which okay. is in the middle, which is fine. That I know how to get to. Yeah. Every room. I've been in all these rooms already. He may have moved it even. Ugh. Don't know what he's doing in the meantime. It's a naughty, naughty puppy. Naughty Max. Not you. You're cute. You're a good Atari. Right now you are. As long as you're not chewing quartz. He has ruined three HDMI cables now in this house. There are three non-working. There it is, finally. There we go. And don't let him steal it. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be too threatening. No, he doesn't seem to care too much about the present. He loves the candle. He's had it for a long time. Yeah. 
You can take anything else. I don't care at this point. Yeah. So just don't touch the Grinch. Like drop the present, but don't touch the Grinch. Do you do you drop it or do you you run I, into him? I with would it? run into the room, drop it. No, I would run into it into oh, him with it. With it, it. Oh, okay. And then grab the sack because the sack is it's close probably to safest. him. Probably safest. It'll turn him good, which means he won't kill you when he touches you. Well, I'm he'll, you'll you you can probably run around him. Yeah. And grab the sack. I don't know if you're gonna have much time. Um, it says he turns good, so. Okay. Oh! Oh! That was poor placement. Uh, can you move? Oh. oh my god. It's in the room though. Is it still? Yeah. Does it reset? It's this way, I think. But now all the baddies are here. He was so close to the top. Yeah, it would have been better to draw him down first. Oh, oh it's over. The game has started over. I, and and the turn. candy cane is all the way along. Yeah, you, you, you try. That's fine. I'm going to make some more coffee. Is that oh. okay? No. Do we have time? No. More coffee. <laughs> there might be tea in there. I don't know. Uh, Batty is already chasing me. That's wonderful. Sure. Just. Yeah, he. you need to go get... No, do you know where it is? I know where it is. The candy cane yeah. is a starting spot? Yes, it does. Oh. Yeah, go down, go down, go down. It's right at the beginning to the left. If it hasn't been left. stolen. Yeah. Then and down. down. That's down. where it was before. Oh. Nope, I think it's gone now. Nope. Yeah, I guess maybe they don't have the same starting points. No, uh, there's probably options. It's not listing the options. Oh, what was that? It's a baddie. It's a baddie. Oh. No, he's, a, he's after you ah. now. He's after you. You need the candy cane. Oh my god. Once he goes after you. Maybe. Oh my god. You need the candy cane. You don't have it. That's not a bad thing to have, mind you. But... Oh, another robot. Another enemy. Oh. Nothing. It must be up where. Let's oh. be here. Please don't follow me. I will I, die. I don't know. Don't follow me. I think I. I think if you're two, it, they only chase you if you're one screen away from them. Mm. If you're two screens, they're like, I don't know where you went. James restarted a new game though. Yeah. Someone was saying that. I don't think objects oh move back. Oh my god. To it's, original. It's there. Oh, it it's is. in the wall. Oh, you didn't restart. Re restart it. You you're playing my game. Really? Yes, you didn't restart it. Oh, should I restart You should it? restart it, yeah. Because that is in the wall. Yeah. The there we go. Now go to the left. Yeah. Oh, people wondering? Yeah. Like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, it, 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 uh, he didn't restart it. I thought you were going to restart. Nope. Oh, yeah. Good job. Now you have to get the other guy. Yeah, just take care of them as soon as possible. Yeah, there's the present. I... Oh, no, because if I'm carrying the present, I'm going to You know die. where it is. Yeah. yeah. You just want to kill house. all the baddies. There's... Oh, get him. Good okay. job. Now I can drop that. Get the present. No! Mine! Go get the... Go get this. How about this? How about that? Nope. Okay, well... He's chasing after you. Oh my god, he really wants that present. He does. Hmm. Oh, he's gone now. Oh, oh you need that first, first actually. Yeah. yeah. Need to light up all the rooms. Um... Like yeah, this area up first. up in that area. That's so this is very cute. I'm it very is. I'm very happy with it's like an adventure <laughs> with with the, the Grinch um, yeah. sprites in it. It's very nice. I do like this version. Yeah, normally I'm not a super fan of adventure because of the the crazy mazes that it has. Oh, yeah. To the left. Um, to the left. This one, the mazes are fine. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're not, not too extended or too long. The ones in adventure. So this this gets you out of control. Yeah. Now you've lit it. Yep. And then there's another dark area, but you've already there's been through there. it. So there's nothing there. Maybe something was there. I don't know. Or they can be there. They can be there. So should I light it up now? No, because I think you've got everything. Just in case. You've you've no. seen everything already, so I I don't think you need to go that way. I'll see if not the present's from what still I can there. Tell. The present and the magnet and the light and the candy cane you've seen them all so. Yep. so it was in the middle room over here <gasps> bastard bastard 
How oh, do I... no, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. Go back. Oh. Go back. He dropped it. He dropped it. He oh, swapped it goodness. for your light. Oh, he likes the light the most. Uh, maybe. Which is good. I don't know. I don't know. Because last time in your game, he was like all about the light. Well, no, he got that. He got all of them. At some point. What is that? Oh, he's still talking about it. The, well, yeah, you continued the last game, which is why things weren't where they were supposed to be. Yes. I mean, you could... You, obviously, it's recoverable. I just needed the magnet to get that. Yep. Left. Should I draw him down first? No, I, I don't. You can't. You can't, I don't think. Yeah. If just I go make in the sure you run, bottom, s run into him with the present. Yeah. Just be careful. There you go. Run, 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 run. Does he, he come after you? I bet he comes after you after yeah, a while. Yeah, he looked like he was going somewhere. But you need to go back to your room. I know exactly where it is. Oh, he is coming. Down. Oh, oh my god. I oh, can't my get god. Out of oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do you How get do out of you that? do this? How is that possible? Oh, that's hard. Now I need the sword? Do I have to get the present back? Yeah, go back to the right. Your sword is Oh, you can't kill him with the sword. There you go. Not not the Grinch. No, no. Keep going to the right. What? It's up that way. What is? is Everything. It? Get oh, him. You, you have, have to, to you have to re-kill those guys and they're going to come after you. Respawn again? Yeah. So I'm not sure where the present... The present might go back to one of those rooms. Well, the present is where he is. Where you dropped it? No. Oh, is it? Right? Unless he moved it. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. There he is. Can you kill him? No. I can only kill him with the present, which is past him. How do you get past him? Magnet would draw the present to you. Oh, it might. Hey, drop that. <laughs> I like the tree. I do like the backgrounds. I think they're really nicely done. Yeah. There's your present. Oh, the present's back there. Oh. Well, that's okay. good. So you can... Oh, but you have to kill them again. Ugh. Oh, no. That's going to be super hard because the Ugh. the sword is now... Random somewhere. No, no, it's not. It's back. The sword is back with the Grinch. You're going oh. completely the wrong way now. There you go. So it did. it did respawn. That's good. I mean, you can, you can, oh, you just have to dodge those guys. I don't know how you do that. Like, That's really hard. In the, in here? No, no, no. way. I'm going to die. Yeah. It's like impossible. Ah! Uh, you have to reset the game. Nothing. Like seriously, uh, you're going to have to reset. I don't think you can do it with these guys chasing you. Oh my God starting over i mean you got to the grinch and you gave him the present i have no idea where's the candy cane did you reset yeah i think yeah. you need to reset I again i didn't even see yourself i did reset so it's to the left and down too that's where it was last time yeah oh just okay ah i've already memorized where everything is <laughs> okay oh. you gotta kill them and you need the other guy. Uh, you don't worry about him. You can't kill him. Don't steal it. There you go. Okay. okay, so now you can get... There's the magnet in there. Might as well take the magnet. Yep. So you know where you know where you left the candy cane. Oh, that's what you need first. Really. Realistically. Yes. Come over here. There. Ah! Ah! Nothing. So you know where the present is. I know where the present is. Uh, I just so have I'll it memorized. I'll light it up first. You have yeah. it memorized already? Yeah. And this is only game one. Yes. Yeah. I mean, game two is not any harder because it just adds one more thing to kill. Yeah, it's just the Grinch. The Grinch, I don't so know how you get hard. around the Grinch in this part. is pretty challenging. I'm going to lure him down to the bottom. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Because then you have a lot of time. Yeah, but you still have to hit him with the present. Yeah. So do. maybe, can you hit him with the present at the bottom and trap him there? Oh no, it would take too much time. It would take way too much time because then you'd have to go all the way back around. Mm, mm, mm. It would. Yeah? Yeah, you'd lose all your advantage. Oh, and he turns mean again immediately. Yeah. Why couldn't we I get the pre the sack out? What happened to the sack? Well, he started chasing after you. Immediately. Immediately, and, and getting through that maze is really hard. Where's the present? That was it, wasn't no, it? No, that was a magnet. It's um the it's one more over. It's like the far right one, I think. Oh. 
Nope. Mm -hmm. Maybe the present is randomized. Maybe. Maybe the... Maybe you have to go through that dark part. Maybe it's at the end of this. Maybe maybe the um, mm. little guy has uh, maybe it's normal here. Stolen it. Yeah. And he steals. And it. And he steals it. That makes uh, sense. Ah, that's why it's never there. Because we're like, what is this part? Part. What is the point of that whole yeah. area? Huh. Probably spawns from the sack. That didn't sound right. <laughs> I mean, yes, I am. Yeah, I don't know. You want to kind of get okay. a head start, but I don't know how you do that. He chased immediately. He like, did. He had no time whatsoever. I mean, there's nothing that stops him either. Like having the candy cane doesn't stop him, so it's not like you can drop the candy cane. No, and use the only it. thing you that can't. stops him is this. That's it. And it's like you're. This is a quick, a very quick maze, but. Okay. So, I give it to him. He turns good. He you turned grab the sack evil immediately. immediately. Yeah, he turned evil almost immediately. Okay, now you grab the sack and run. Where does he take it? Where's he going? He's probably going down. And then he starts going after you, like instantaneously. You just have to do it as quickly as humanly possible. Well, this is better because he was already on me before, right? Yeah, maybe we paused. And this, this... He was here. Yeah, and you have to get back super fast. And you have to avoid him. I think we run, just run, got run, really run. unlucky. Run, and then... Run first. Down, really quick, and then... Oh. Over! Quick, quick, quick! There, into that room. Yay! Game one! Big screen! <laughs> nice. Hooray! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Very, very nice. Yes. Okay. I like that uh, twist. Oh, look at him. He's flying through. I like that twist on adventure. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I saved Christmas. Yeah, we saved Christmas from the Grinch. Okay. The third game in this. Uh, we're going we're gonna to skip Bellhopper for now. Uh, we're going to go to the naughty list. I'm Mike Sarna. Uh, Santa's fist came down hard on his desk, sending toy soldiers, robots, and other toys tumbling away. Elf Union, indeed! If it wasn't for the help of the scabs, the adventurer, and the bunnies, which we haven't seen yet, Christmas would have been ruined this year. They tie all the games together. That's funny. The, those Union heads are going straight to the top of my naughty list, even before Ebenezer, exclaimed Santa as mm -hmm. he grabbed his fiery red coat and stormed towards the door. And I've got some special gifts in store for them. A blast of cold air and snow entered the room and the door slammed shut. How to play Naughty List. In Naughty List, you play as Santa. Your mission is to drop packages full of explosives onto ugly Union buildings. Completely destroying them. Each package you drop wow. needs to hit the building. Dead center to cause destruction. Uh, packages that miss the mark have no effect. Larger buildings will need multiple hits to reduce them to rubble. We've played uh, games like this before. Mm. Um, where you're dropping bombs. I yeah. can't remember the other one, what the other one's called. But your mission isn't as easy as it sounds. Your reindeer are tired from delivering presents. So as you fly over the block, your deer will drop closer and closer to the buildings. If you smash into the building, you'll lose a deer. You only have three to spare. I think you get the idea. Mm. Go for it. Some levels you encounter innocent pedestrians. You must avoid killing. Uh, and on other levels, you'll battle construction vehicles that work overtime to undo your night of destruction. So they kind of... Go at an angle, too. Yeah, and you have to hit them. Oh, that was way too early. You have to hit them at the base. Ah, uh, not the top. Ooh, oh. One off. Construction vehicle. There you go. Tirelessly patrols the street looking for buildings that are below city height standards. When it encounters one, the crew will go back to work raising the buildings back up. Oh, Ooh, you have to get it completely in it? Yep. Yep. Yeah. R.I.P. Oh, Oh, did Oops. you kill him? Accidentally. Uh -oh. Innocent pedestrians, they walk along the streets of the Elf Union headquarters. You need to be careful not to bomb there, or else they'll suffer grave consequences, and one of your deer will desert you in, in shame. Oh, you killed him. You lost a deer. Oh. Oh, is that it? Oh, no. 
Oh, oh it deer. is a life. So the deers are your life. Mm -hmm. The reindeers. Oh, that was way off. Perfect in between. Buildings can vary in height. It's always a good idea to take out the tallest building as it poses the greatest threat to Santa and his deer. Oh, this is terrible. It's hard. It's like, oh, uh, getting it. It's easier when you get closer, but also you run out of time. Look at look how bad I'm doing. This is terrible. When possible, try to bomb multiple buildings oh. with each pass. Can you drop more than one? Oh, oh you can. Oh. oh, my goodness. Information that would have been good about 10 minutes we'll ago. Get there. When buildings are close together. It makes it impossible to bomb them in the same pass. But when there are multiple small buildings and construction yeah. vehicles, you should... You should focus on breaking up these grouped buildings first. During this time, the construction vehicles will build up the other buildings. Once you've eliminated the groups, you'll be able to remove the others by striking multiple buildings in each pass. Oh. Oh. The union thing was just a running joke. Yeah. <laughs> Revenge says about the absurdity of elves organizing. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. In the story. For what I remember, nobody on the dev team was anti-union. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there's a lot of ant there's there's a lot of union hate going on <laughs> in this game. <laughs> oh, Carl J says this is a fun one button game. It is just one button, yeah, it isn't is. it? Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah. It's it's Oh my goodness. The timing is Yeah, you have to be almost right on top of it. Nice. One more to go. Mm. You can do it. Nice. Level complete. Then your reindeer get a boost of energy and fly straight. Oh. Trees? This time? No. Uh-oh. The building... It builds back up the buildings. So you either want to get oh it... Oh, my God. ...after the bulldozer, or well before the bulldozer gets to the buildings. Ooh, is it going to build it? No. Oh, is it going to build that one? Oh, it only builds it back up, not completely from demolished, I guess. Could be made into a smartphone game because of the simple control. Yes, one buttons are perfect for uh, smartphone games. Um, yeah, yeah, he so builds it up. Oh, oh my God. So if it's oh, low... Oh, come on. So he builds it higher than it was originally. Oh, and that doesn't take it down completely. Oh my God. Oh, oh no gonna crash into you you're gonna crash into it yeah get that one. Oh, oh, the timing is so you have to be like you think it's gonna drift at the rate that you're you're growing do you know right. what i mean uh, it, that you're you're moving and it, it doesn't. doesn't it's slower a little bit it's quite a bit slower yeah actually. it's really oh seeing that looks like it should work but it doesn't you have to get it right in the right place yay just in oh. time Level two. So what did the trees represent? It's just a uh, just finishing. A, oh, screen. Christmas tree. So he is destroying buildings to bring back the trees. Have we not played this game before, or a very, no, very similar? A game? Very similar. There's oh. a number of games like this. Um, the other one we played was. Oh, you can only you can only go twice if, if if once it's hit the ground. What? Once it's hit the ground. Well, that's only once then. Yeah. Not twice. There we go. Oh, you're gonna die. I know. You don't get this on this pass. <sighs> Just in time. No bulldozer in this one. Wind resistance slows the present. That's very true, Carl G. Less mass than the sleigh. Oh yep. no. More surface area. Or not more. Oh. No. Oh, no. you couldn't have got it. No, no. I couldn't have. I should have, I should have gotten it the last round. Yeah. Don't waste the passes. Just throw it at the ground. No, no. Because you can't throw it twice. Ah! Yeah, that's oh, okay. No. And you lose, you lose, you lose distance too. You're now closer. Oh, oh I'm dead. Okay. One try just, for me. I was just getting used to. Uh, <laughs> Twelve sixty-three. The drift of the uh, of the present. See, you're getting them right away. But I, I it takes a second to Ooh, okay. calculate. You have to be on top of it. Calculations. Almost, almost the front immediately. front of the sleigh has to is be at the end of the building. Yeah. yeah. No. That's okay. I think unless things change, that is. Oh, you start perfect. over. Oh, every time you lose a. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, it's a little late. Yeah. You kind of get used to it, oh but my it. Oh God. Yeah. See. Oh, you know why? You because don't drift. I'm not 
as high. Yeah. It's going to change. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You're better off. But like I was I was I was dropping them way too early. You have to be very close to the building. Yes, way too early. Yeah, you you have to be above it almost. Uh, yeah, you have to be above it because yeah. you can you can be a little late and it's okay. It's quite challenging. It's a good game. It's a good game. My goodness. That is hard. <laughs> but we played another game like this too and it's like once you get the feel of it it's not so really bad. I got really good at that game yeah. after a while. Once you get the feel of it it's not too bad, but this it takes a little, little bit harder. of practice. I don't know. I think it's about the same, but you just Oh no. See, it's very sensitive. No, 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 it's going to build it up. Oh, Ooh, just in time. Just in time. Does less ranger mean dropping faster? Or is it just like lives? It seems to just be just lives. lives. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't seem to affect anything. His speed or... Ugh. Yeah, it's very sensitive to the where it's dropped. It has to be... It can't be a pixel outside of the building space. No, it can't. It Not can't be a one. pixel outside of... Yeah. Is this Revenges? No. Yes. It is. It's I cute. I like it. So. I like this game. I like these style of games. They're challenging. Oh, uh, then it killed the guy. No! Oh no, uh, and you didn't even get the building. Uh, this level doesn't have this guy level's a guy, not a bulldozer. Yeah. And he comes back too. I thought I killed you. Yeah. Apparently there's uh, right more in the where, where that came from. Exactly. This is his uh, brother. You should be going for that that tall one. I know. Not the. There you go. Oh, not quite. One more pass. There you go. That's good. Oof. Oh, good. No. So what happened first? That's a bad noise. You would yes. have killed him regardless. And I died at the same time. Yeah. So it... Is it the end? Yeah. I, oh, no. I killed him because I only have one oh, reindeer no. left. Oh, no. You can do one more... One pre more... More than one present per pass. Only if... But it has to hit it the has ground. has to hit the ground. So uh, when you're high up, it takes so long to fall that you it's can't pointless. really do like two. There, and I'm when you're close lapsed. to the ground, then you can do, like, two. Is it going to be a perfect first game? That'd be nice. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. 404. Game not found. Yeah, when you're close to the bottom, it is smart to do more than one. More than one. You can't do two, though. When uh, one's dropping, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. At least I couldn't. Go, 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 go. No. No. <sighs> Looks better. Yeah. Really hard. Well, because your height dictates how far it drifts, yeah. and so you have to manage your height. Good job, and though. And how? Yeah. Yeah. Once Thank you God. get the feel, it gets it gets a little easier. Yeah, getting better. Oop. <sighs> yeah. Waste of time. No guy, dude. Get out of the way. Oh. oh, what? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, now, now dead. you're really dead. Oh, it's really sensitive. There you go. That's okay. Mm, I don't know if it's okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was just in time. Good. Oof, you almost killed the guy. Yeah! Oh my god! Just in time! Just barely. Up come the trees. <laughs> Those are great trees. Yep. Really great trees. Ugh. We definitely played this game in a completely <laughs> different... Oh, we did. Yeah. yeah I'm not... not a non-Christmas version. Yeah. yeah. But it's this is a totally different game. It's uh... not like a hack of the other game. N well, no, it, it's, it's definitely the same... It is the same style of game. Buildings. Is it? Yes. Mm -mm. I feel like the buildings were the same. The game was very different. But the backgrounds and there were, weren't there like birds or something. Yeah, there was a bird, and you could dodge, or you could go faster and slower. It's a totally different playing. 
This one is a lot more precision. Mm -hmm. The other one you could um, speed up and slow down. Oh, that's right. Um, and it wasn't descending as fast. Mm. Because... I'm gonna die. Maybe. Ooh. Oh, just in time. Oh, that was terrible. It is frustrating, though. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> it is frustrating. You're like, oh, it's a pixel off! Oh, no. Yeah, just like... Yeah, good job. Uh, just. Oh my god. Ooh. See, he hasn't come off. Very stuck on. Oh my god, this is not fun. You have to get it. Like Every time. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. No. Nope. And dead. Well, I got all my reindeer. The color changes as you're approaching it when you're about to die. Does it? Yeah, it does. Oh. It goes darker. Oh, good job. Oh. Ugh. oh close. Oh, it's going to build it up again. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, no. But it only gets one pass of building it up, so that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. well, it will come back around, but... Uh, not in time. It's quite slow. If it were faster. Yeah! Ah, that <laughs> level's harder and easier. Yeah. Because there's only one building. You just have to get it right away, and then yeah. you're like then you're kind of okay. Safe. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's it's a lot, lot of buildings. What are you doing? Uh, just trying to throw building. Oh, good. It's going to build every one back up. But it doesn't build it up to the same level. Ugh, no. I'm going to die. Oh, so close. This is the level I lose a life. All of my lives. All of them. It resets after you die, right? Completely. Yeah. Which is good. This wouldn't have a chance if it didn't. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Did that, not oh, think. Now you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I survived. Come on. I would have crashed in the next one too. Good job. Really you want to target the first building twice and do them in order so it doesn't even get a chance to build them up. Ugh. No, I don't think you can. No, you wouldn't be able to do it fast enough. Because that bulldozer is faster than you can go twice through it. I would t I would even target the last one if you can. It's true. Well, you, actually, the ones that get taller are a problem, so... This is a hard level. Yeah, you have to hit the ones that, as he builds them up. Yeah. Or else Definitely. you're going to crash. You're going to crash. Ooh, I got to get this. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, oh no. you're dead. Oh, look, the reindeer ran Because <laughs> he was already off the screen. Like, ah! <laughs> good job. Good That was a good game. game. Very good, good game. game. So we're going to play the last one on the list now, which is Bellhopper, which we played before, which is a super fun game. So you have to get it to the game first. Oh, do you? Yep. And then I change it out. Oh, I remember this one. It starts automatically. This looks very different than the one that's was released actually <laughs> oh it's so cute look at it looks like it's a it is a bunny a bunny on a lake or something it's very it's, it's night. beautiful it's all the blues so yeah. it's at night oh enable paddle enable paddle maybe it sensed i plugged it in very nice game yes uh so this ready I think nope. you should be able to just start. Yeah. So what am I doing? Um, you're hopping up the ba uh, bells as you go up. What's going on? What am I doing? Oh, uh, maybe you have to start it with a paddle. In the game. Oh, come on. The music's beautiful. <laughs> That's true. There we go. Try it now. What am I? Press the button and move. It only goes to the left. There you go. 
No, I'm going left, right. What? Left, right. I have to start it? That's bizarre. Press button to enable paddle. What button? Oh, you know what? It's probably in the second port. Oh. So that it you can keep it. You can use the menu and play the other games. Oh, I see. All right. That would make sense. You have to take off the Atari box. Yeah. Bye bye Atari box. It should like go ah when you unplug it. Yep. Hey, arena foot. Okay. Ready. Now it should work. What is going on? Is it a joystick game? It uh, said enable paddle though. Let's try it again. Maybe I'll read the instructions. How about yeah, that? Yeah, that might help. It is a paddle game. Yeah. Um, Bellhopper can be controlled with the joystick in port A or paddle controller in port B. Okay. To select either, simply press the fire button on the controller you wish to use. There you go. Yay! Yeah, it's way better with paddle. Ah. Oh, I've forgotten how to play this. And the can oh, this is, is like in my light of sight. It's falling down a bit. Thank you. I'm like looking at the screen, I'm like. <laughs> Love the sound of it. Ding, ding, little bells. Ding, ding, ding. Ah! Oh! Whoa! How did you get that bell? New high score. <laughs> what did you get? Thirty-two ten. Bellhopper. I understand. Well, EU thanks you for your effort. The elf boss sighed as he slowly returned his phone to his cradle. That was the Grinch, boys. He was also unable to stop the gifts from being delivered. Daylight will be upon us soon, and it looks like we only have one option available. He stepped through the elven crowd to a bench which held several dusty pieces of parchment. Holding up the roll of parchment, he continued, This is a scroll of sleep. If all of us read from it at the same time, we can cast an enchantment so powerful that will put all of humanity to sleep. While they all sleep, we can gather back the presents. Are you with me? <laughs> New high score! This is such a beautiful... The cheer from the crowd was unanimous. Humanity slept. The animal kingdom did not. The most magic of all creatures, the bunny rabbits, sense that an evil deed has been performed. Oh. Being the keepers of good, the rabbit elders knew they had to undo this wrong. They sent forth their youngest jumper. He alone was pure enough to see the magic sky bells. He's so cute. And he alone could jump high enough to ring them. The elders watch him leave his journey with much anticipation. Would he be able to play the bell song oh. and wake up humanity from their ill slumber? Bellhopper can be controlled with joystick in port way A or paddle controller in port B. No, none of that. Um, to begin the game, simply jump and touch one of the bells that are falling from the sky. When a bell is touched, the rabbit will hop upward towards higher bells. On your journey upward, you will encounter birds along the way. Hopping on a bird will double your score. Mm -hmm. You definitely want the birds if you can. Oh, yeah. Uh, hi. Atari would jump on the bunnies. Yeah, and eat them. Crunch, crunch, <gasps> crunch. Uh, because of the massive scores this can bring you, if your score becomes very large, the score display will switch to scientific notation, oh. just like a calculator. So when the display reads something like 8.14E19, you know, you know your score will actually be 81... I don't know, quadrillion? Quintillion? It's 81 the, quintillion. The 19? Yeah. Uh, so it's three each, six three. Divided by four, minus four. A million. Yeah, it's quite tiny. Uh, as you just as you ascend, you'll want to avoid seven. hitting every single. You'll want to avoid hitting every single bell. If that happens to miss one and fall, the bells you skipped in the way may provide a platform to bounce back. It's really hard to recover once you've missed. I guess you could skip every second bell, but birdies. Really, the birds are the keys to the massive scores. Yeah. Oh, 
and then oh. you fall down. It's like, <laughs> in, in some ways, you want to go for the birds, and in other ways, you just want to keep your flow going, like, not worry about them too, too much. Yeah. Cause... The bird. Hitting the bird as many times as possible is a way, best way to, uh, to astronomical scores. But don't try to go back and hit one you accidentally passed. It's yeah, too risky. It is. There's a sky full of infinite birds, as long as you keep going upward. Uh, oh, you got the bird! You wow. saved me, shockingly. I want to see these scientific notation scores. I don't think I'm going to make the scientific notation scores, but we'll see. You got six digits. Two more birds and you'll For get seven fun. digits. And One also ever so slightly <laughs> stressful. Oh, it can do seven. How many digits? It didn't say how many digits. Uh, no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Oh, that was pretty good. One million, oh. 114,000. Yes. What was I going to say? To the 19, it's five, six, So that's ten sextillion. Uh -huh. It's easier if I write it down. Though. <laughs> ten sextillion. No. To nineteen. Oh. Sorry, not sextillion. Quintillion. Yeah, it was right. <laughs> ten quintillion. Oh, it's risky. Oh my god, what a recovery. That's crazy. Purr cat. Hi, Purry. Uh, uh, yeah. Bye, you never bunny. get back up. <laughs> No. No. No high score. Oh. Well, because yeah, mine. It's hard to know what your score is. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, what Arena for put it on. <laughs> oh, thank you. It was uh, million and. Oh, your score, yeah. Yeah. Oh, your score doesn't show it at the end. It, keep, it keeps uh, it on the if screen. I... Yeah, if I didn't press a button, maybe it would show it. It is the birds, though. That really. Oh yeah, the bells don't do anything. Yeah, it's not good to go after them if it's going to make you fail, so... Oh, yeah, for sure. Just if they're in a convenient place. It is a bit amoeba jumpish, but it's not... You're not bouncing. You're kind of floating upwards. Yeah, and there's so no every rescue. Bell, and you're not landing, which actually makes it kind of an harder. easier game. No, no, because you just have to run straight into it. You don't have to bounce on it. I find amoeba jump because you have to bounce on a platform. This one, you just have to hit the bell in some capacity, and you keep going up. And also, oh, you've already, you've already, ooh, have you? Oh yeah. Exceeded me. I think so. Doing good. Doing good. No ease yet. <gasps> no, that was a good score. Ten million. Ten million? Yep. Yeah. Ten million four hundred forty thousand three hundred twenty. Still, we got the E. I don't know how many digits that needs to be. Off the screen, probably. Probably off the screen because it looks like it's doing um, double. It's doing uh, like interlacing mm. on it. And you can get pretty much filling the screen if you do it right, actually. Oh, good save. It's birds all the way up. There's not nearly enough games that use scientific notation for large scores. I love it. I agree. Oh, no. This is the first one oh, that I've no. seen. Oh, no. Down I go. 4, Sometimes you can save yourself. Is that little aiming thing always there? Yeah. Okay. Just shows you where 
where you're your aiming. Your paddle happens to be if you lose track of it, I guess. Right. And it's it's good for aiming because if you line it up with the bird, that's where the rabbit's going to end up. Oh. Oh, oh, just. Save me. Good save. Barely. Oh, thank you, Arena Foot. Sometimes you think you're going to hit it and you're like, ah, no, I'm not. <laughs> this is kind of like the white level on Amoeba Jump where they disappear. The platforms disappear after every jump. Mm, yeah, you can't. You can't go back. Yeah. Whoa, nice run. <gasps> no! no! Oh, no! No, no! All right. Pulled that one out of your cotton tail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Boing. I love how it starts again. I Just know. Just Start falling from fall the sky. Down. This is a beautiful game. This is such a lovely game. Like, really, really lovely. It is. Something about rabbits in the sky, too. I don't know. <laughs> rabbits in the sky. It's very cute. <gasps> oh, no! Boing, boing, so cute. Boing. I love there the, we go. I love the scene at the bottom of the screen so too. So nice. This is a beautiful game. You know Simple, what? Simple but very effective. I think we play this game at the Atari Age booth. Is this an Atari Age game? It is, but it's not that new. It's quite. It's, it's been a while. No, I don't but think we have. No, I'm trying to think. Where I played it before, or did we, we play? Have, it? We've played it before. We have on played the show. it on the show. Oh, yeah. okay. Just by itself, though, we've never played this version. I think it looks yeah. a little different a than, good... the, than the than um, the binary release. Yeah, I think you're right. I think yeah, it did look a little different. The bottom of the screen was it's not different. as detailed. Yeah, this one's more detailed. Yeah, the bottom of the screen's beautiful. One more try. Pretty happy with my score, though. Anybody uh, gotten E scores out there? Ugh. E scores. Yeah, where it goes across the screen. Oh, bigger than the screen. I'm sure. I'm sure. It's it's not out of the realm to have a nice run, you know. Um, if you, Every you get in the four mood, birds. In the mode of it. You get a new significant digit, right? Is well, you double four? every bird, so. Yeah. Yeah. So the higher you get, when you double it, it just goes... Yeah, you do get a significant digit. Because it's like one, two, five, and then one again. Ah! <laughs> you want one more? Yeah. I like how it's infinite retries. Yeah, yeah it doesn't just... really end, does it? No, you just try again. You know, you don't die. You just float to the ground. Aww. Little fluffy bunny. Yeah. He doesn't hurt, get hurt either. No. He's very young. Yeah. His joints joints aren't injured. <laughs> very by... flexible. Flexible bunny. And he's has a small enough mass that he... Uh... He's quite floaty. Yeah, he's quite floaty. He's got, like, little flaps under his arms so he can float down to some wind resistance. No dead ring. And it's um, it's different than a lot of other paddle games in its control. <gasps> oh no, no, oh. no, no, no. Where the bunny aims <sighs> for the place you put it. It's yeah. not an absolute position. Like say Warlords is you're directly influencing where your oh. player is. Yeah, so you're it's a little floaty. Yes, which works perfectly for this um, type of game. Um, so it's, what was the other game I was thinking of? Oh, the, uh, dog walk game where it's done with a joystick and you play, you 
put where you want to go. I think that's it. Yeah, you position where you want to go and the dog walks behind you. Dog walk could be turned into a Christmas game, but I think it's like um, nuclear fallout <laughs> that's mm. falling on you and not snow. Well, that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> The dog dies from the things that are falling down out of the sky. Half a million. One million. Yay. Don't want to know because you're, you're... <laughs> Pressure. Pressure. Oof. Yeah, the bells are only one, one thousand each. No, no, you're distracting me. Yeah, blame it on me. I am. Oh, no, I almost made it to the bell again. That's okay. That's a pretty decent score. On high Ooh. score, there's only one post over 5,000? 5, 536 billion. Oh, 536 billion. I didn't yeah. see the, the, the B. B. Yeah. That's, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's but it, you double as you double. I, I got 10 achievable. million. I got 10 million. Oh, no, you got 10 million. I just got 2 million. So... So it'd be four birds to get very... 100 million. Once four, your score gets high, four, it matters four, more to hit the four, birds. Three. Because when you're doubling three. a high score, you're going up really fast. So I only needed 15 more birds and I could beat the high score. But you are picking That's up the birds. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Very fun game. Very fun. Um, oh, oh, another spam bot in there. I want to become famous? <laughs> mm, no. Are you really famous if you're buying fake things? Yeah. <laughs> I I would posit that it's not. She... But how do you get rid of the actual message? I don't know. Because I've done it before. Well, report rather than um, block. Oh, there. This timeout ban. Unblock report. But where's the blame? Ban, ban. You didn't I already did. Them. I already did. No, you didn't. Yeah. There. Oh, that's what it did. What did you I? You blocked. You blocked. Blocked. Yeah. Okay. There Banning's better. Ban is. Okay. I'd rather achieve endless fame and glory from the creation yeah, of Atari right. games. <laughs> Way better than paying yes. for, paying for uh, subs because they're not real. You just get more bots. Mm -hmm. They're fake, right? Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Yeah. Um. Excellent group of games. Oh, so good. Such a good, good. Um, Genre of Atari games. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't have the, uh, put the Atari, Atari box. box back in. We have one more game left. Oh, we do? Yep. I thought we were at the end. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> one more game. We've kind of already played it before. Mm -hmm. Because this is. There you go. You want your. No, nope, I'm okay. I'm yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable, so. <sighs> Virtual Snow. Yeah. Oh, it's the first time you've seen our, because uh, we've been playing the other game for so long. Yeah. Um, so this is Santa Jump, mm -hmm. and it's brand new. December 3rd. Well, pretty new. Uh, 2020. Nice. It's uh, Hack of Hack of Amoeba Jump, which is right here. Um, it's by a hack by Scott Dayton, known as Neo Tokyo 2001. 4K game. It um, he has made Alien Greed one and two, an adventure, uh, Alien Greed adventure, Alien Ooze, Dead Road, and a ton of hacks, like a billion, a billion hacks. Okay, load it up. Press button. Um, and he said a Santa version of the publicly available <gasps> Amoeba Jump demo. Wait, wait. People can't see it. There you go. She <laughs> like jumped right into it. We're gonna play it. It's Amoeba Jump. Of course I'm going to play it. Yeah. So this is this is the demo version of, of Amoeba Jump. Um, is it? That's what he just said. A it's a of hack. The Amoeba Jump demo. The demo oh. of the Amoeba Jump. Yeah. So it's a little, the... it looks a little bit different. What is the demo difference? Ah. Oh, the demo doesn't have the option of two players. Does it have all the, all the, the different um, platforms? Um, yeah, it has all the platforms. I can't remember what the limitations of the demo are. Um, Santa Jump! Uh, 
the release of Amiibo Jump is available on cartridge at Atari Age, and he says this hack is based on a current homebrew game available at the link above. This is protected work ah. and is not to be sold under any circumstances without permission from Dianoid. Oh, thank you for the link, Arena <sighs> Foot. What do you spell out in this version? I will we'll have to see. I'm going to guess. No, because that's no? too few letters. It's got to be six oh. letters. Is it presents? <gasps> is it? Hmm. What could be six letters? I'm going to take over in a second. I was doing fine for a while there. <laughs> what was the first letter? It was an S? I saw That's an S. Saw? I... Ah! Hold on. No. A K? A K. I didn't see a K. Did you see a K? Oh, I, I saw a letter, but I can't remember what it was. Cute little Santa. He's got his hat that it wiggles. There you go. Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> Ooh, snacks. Because the scent is after the snacks, the milk and cookies, right? Oh, true. Ooh, we Maybe. should have cookies. Mm, <laughs> some great cookies. What cookies are they? They're ginger, uh, ginger spice cookies. So there's lots of molasses in them. No, there's molasses yummy. and nutmeg and cinnamon and ginger. All the best stuff. Oh, yeah. We've just been eating them all week. <laughs> there's still some left. There are a few left. Not yeah, too many, but there are a few in there. Five or so. You got some chocolate caramel cookies, too. Did I? Yes, you did. Chocolate caramel cookies. Yeah, oh, I did. Nice. Oh, that's a harsh noise. You changed oh. the noise. I do have to start cooking Christmas dinner, so. Oh, well, we're, this is the last game. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost three now. <laughs> we have to play, spell out snacks at least once. Definitely changed the noise of when you get the letter. It's like crunchier. Mm. See, even um, he made it so that he didn't have to change much in the game because snack starts with an A and ends with an A and amoeba. Starts with an A and ends with the A. Mm. It was very clever to, to find to a keep word a double letter in there. Ooh. That works with the Dissolving theme. Dissolving platforms. Excellent. And still mm. has a double letter. And yeah. still has a double letter. Yep. So you didn't oh. have to get too Nathan tricky. Nathan Strum has a roast in the oven. The smell is going to drive me insane by the time it's ready. That is the point <laughs> of Christmas dinner. Oh, yeah. To fill yep. your house with... Scum software. Insane with hunger. Get it! Carl G, I need to put together dinner too, but watching is more fun. <laughs> Agreed. Playing games is super fun. Yep. Oh my god, I need that blue. There we go. Whew. I did spell it snacks, so. Good. We can. Oh no, you you continue happy. your game. <laughs> snacks. Ah. Um. Yeah, I have a. What do we like a have? Beef we have a Wellington type of roast vegan beef. roast. Yeah. But it's wrapped in pastry. It's going to be very tasty. Mm. And we have Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, carrots. We're going to do mashed potatoes and stuffing. It's going to be good. Yum. I'm very excited. We um, baked croissants this morning. Oh, they were good. There's one for me there because I haven't really had lunch, so I'm going to have the other one. Oh, mm, I'm hungry too. We haven't had lunch. Yeah. So we're going to be snacking till dinner, I think. Snacking till dinner. I'm hungry. Honey baked ham arena foot. Ooh, that sounds very good too. Very, very good. This joystick is now fixed. And yesterday for dinner, we have a pie shop in Vancouver Ooh, called yes. the Pie Hole. <laughs> Shut your pie hole. Shut your pie hole. And they make a holiday pie that's filled with like ground, I mean, either meat or non meat, as in our case, if you're vegetarian, with mashed potatoes and gravy like built into the pie. What? Is there gravy? Oh, yeah, yeah, there was, was gravy. Yeah. Uh, gravy and mashed potatoes, and then you just cook it in the oven. So I thought, oh, I gotta, I gotta try, try that. that yeah, it was really good. Good job, eight thousand. Yep, not bad. Yeah, 
You're on an online chat with Verizon? Oh, That's exciting. for three hours, yeah. Are you guys vegetarian or just for this meal? Well, well mm. I, I brought it up, but Unfortunately, he's vegetarian. I'm not. Vegan, he's not vegan. vegetarian. Yes. Yes. For he's, he's vegan. 21 I'm... years. Yeah. And that's all we're going to talk about. <laughs> this is about video games. <laughs> so we don't need that coming no, into the but conversation. If we're talking about what we're having for Christmas dinner, it's going to yeah. be obvious it's going to be vegetarian. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah. 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 Um, Santa Jump, a very um, inventive, creative hack. I like the presence mm. that it changed to. Mm. Very creative word alteration mm -hmm. with the snacks to work with Amoeba. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and the graphics for the Santa is great. So really, really great uh, hack there. And I think I've run out of Christmas games now and holiday games. I've well, played them all now. You're going to have to encourage people to make more. <laughs> yeah, we need... Or we need Themed games. Uh, yeah. A holiday themed game for 2021 at the at Atari age. Because oh. Because they used to have one almost every year. And a, t a holiday themed one. Yeah, yeah. A holiday themed one. And you used to get it for free if you oh. ordered X amount of games. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, or you could, some of them you could buy. Some mm. of them are still in the store. You mm. know, Toy Shop Trouble and etc. etc. And, mm. and also like um, uh, Stay Frosty was originally one of those the original stay frosty oh yeah it was a stay holiday card good game too yeah 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 um but people have to plan well ahead yeah right because usually what ends up is like they're done at like mid-december and things aren't done in time the packaging yeah. and it's a bit of a rush it is, so it you is have to really plan, plan early but you're not thinking about christmas no. when it's summertime no. right that's true yeah. for those of you not following blogs on atari jeff post a special christmas episode of my comic strip, RT the Atari. Oh, oh nice. it was very nice, his nice. Uh, Christmas post. It's a whole bunch of um, the consoles celebrating together. Oh. And each saying oh. something. Nice. Yeah. I'll have yeah. to look at that. I haven't seen that, so I'll have yeah. to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Must see. Yes, definitely. Oh, good. Great post, Nathan. So, uh, let's take a look through the games we played today mm. and uh, briefly talk about them. Um, so we played uh, Mean Santa, mm. which was a great game. And I think I people was... underestimate what it's about because they play in easy mode. And it's like, oh, you just get these. Oh, no, it's presents. really good. Yeah, yeah. And it's great to go through the levels and go to the hard level and then mm. win the hard level. Go back again and play it again. But we didn't win the hard level yet. Mm. I have to add that to my to be completed game list. But then after you beat the hard level you have to play it again mm. on the unlocked whatever it unlocks yeah um highly recommended you can download it vcs dreidel simple uh port <laughs> yeah. of, of a real game a physical game uh it does what it does it works really well mm -hmm. it's got a nice song Mm -hmm. good graphics yep simple it, yep. it plays it runs yep yep, yep. so if you it, don't want to have a dreidel with you and you've and you've happened to have a vcs and a harmony cart and then it's it's good to play that yeah. instead yeah um then uh we played uh santa simon is that what it is santa simon which is a very very simple game it was fun though. it's it's simple it's fun it's, it's got good simon. graphics it's got voices or synth or digitized audio mm -hmm. so that's quite something I challenge you to get past 14. That was my high score. Not a chance. Oh my God. It's got three digits for no reason at all. Yeah. Uh, the Bite Before Christmas. And the games were uh, Naughty List, which is the ones where you're dropping bombs on the buildings. That's a great one. Yeah, that one's really good. Very challenging. Mm -hmm. um, Bell Hopper. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. Very cute with the rabbit hopping up. Mm -hmm. Santa scabs I found that really hard it was good very challenging yeah. very good because of the multiple two different types of games you have to play and like there's a lot going on yeah. to kick the elves get the coal then you can kill all the elves to get bonus and then mm -hmm. defeat the boss and then it gets harder mm -hmm. really really smart mm -hmm. 
Christmas Christmas Adventure. Excellent. Really, really nice good adventure game. Adaptation of adventure to make it into a Christmas game. Beautiful little sprites and toys in it. Really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. And the menu's great. The packaging packaging yeah. is great. So if you like even like two of those games. Yeah. And Bell Hopper, you didn't mention that, oh, did you? No. Oh yeah, Bell. Bell Hopper. Yeah, I did. Bell oh, Hopper. Did it you? said cute rabbit. Oh. Um, yeah. but that one I think to us is I don't know. It's it's definitely an I you like can that play game over a lot. Over again. Yeah, I think that's my favorite, to be honest. And and there's something about the scene at the bottom and the little yeah. bunny is just really beautiful. It's a really beautiful I game. I liked Santa's scabs and I'd like to get better at that. Mm. It's a game that you have to practice a lot. Yeah. Christmas Adventure, I can see playing the second level. Mm -hmm. The third one would be hard because it regenerates. The oh, the enemies. toys? Oh, yeah. They come that would after be you. That would yeah. be hard because you'd have to have your sword nearby yeah. all the time. Yeah. Um, and then we played Santa Jump, an excellent hack of an amazing game already, yes. which is Amoeba Jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, am I? <laughs> getting some snow in Get your beard? Out of there. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little white. Uh oh. Danger. Uh, so, this is probably the last show of the year. Mm -hmm. We'll see how fast I can get my 7800 modded. Oh, cool. And then you'll because as soon as I have my in. 7800 is modded, I will be doing a show. Oh, good on the concerto cart. Okay, and a bunch of 7800 games. Excellent. Um, because that's gonna be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll see how good I am with the soldering iron. Mm. Um, but you have the holder now for it, yeah. I have a better soldering iron now, yeah. <laughs> so that will help. Hopefully, it has a bunch of tips. Like really, really that would tiny be good. tips. Yeah. yeah, you have to see. Yeah. Wah, wah. But <laughs> we will be back in the new year. We have so many things happening. Um, we have, of course, the Atari Homebrew Awards, third annual, mm -hmm. which is coming up. The end of the year is coming. Mm -hmm. So the cutoff for games being um, eligible for the awards for 7800, 2600. Uh, 5200 8 bits is coming up in a week. Um, and then the cutoff, boom, it's over. And then we pass them on to the nomination committee, mm -hmm. who narrows it down to six games. We're going to have six for you guys to vote on, mm -hmm. not 10. That's so a it's good, a little that's bit a good less. Li that's a good list. I yeah. found 10 a bit much. Yeah. We're going to try six this year. Yeah. And see how that goes. Yeah. Because it has, it's, it's not as overwhelming for yeah. people voting. Um, 12 is right out. <laughs> 12 is right out. Um, just remember to lick the soldering iron tip clean after soldering each connection. Yeah. That's true. And it makes that little tss on yeah. your tongue. It makes a little hole in your tongue too. Oh yeah. my. Thrust a six is much better. <laughs> I think so too. So we're going to yeah. try six. Yeah. Maybe it's not enough. We'll go to eight, but I think six is I think is six nice is a good, because good number. Because a lot of award show like, um. Like so the, the Oscars Oscars. And stuff. Oscars yeah. Sometimes it has a lot. Yeah. I have no idea on their rules, but usually yeah. it's like four to six or yeah. sometimes a bit more, but I think it's six not is... not usually double digits. Six so. is not too yeah. little that you're not honoring enough games. Yeah. And it's not too much that you're like, oh my God. It's overwhelming. They're giving awards to everyone. Yeah. And, and people want to play them too. So if your list of playing yes. yeah, is it a little It might be much. too much. Yeah. yeah. Too many choices gets overwhelming for yeah. those who yeah. want to try them out. Yeah. But if you want to concentrate on 2600, it's like, okay, six. I can play six games. Yes. It's totally reasonable. Mm -hmm. And you probably have already played some of them mm. or all of them if they're like the best games of the year, right? That's true. Um, so we will be doing the nomination reveals towards the second half because the nomination committee is done after the 15th, I think, or the voting starts. So I will reveal it probably on the same day or close to or just before the voting begins. Mm. Um, and we'll talk about all the nominations. Mm. And we'll play through them really quickly. Because that'll be fun, because they're good games. Um, and we still have some special unannounced events coming up. One's going to be a, in a couple months, maybe. One's going to be I don't know when. Mm. Um, they get pushed, but that's okay. I don't mind, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the new year, we'll just be doing some regular shows yeah. again. Hopefully going back to two days a week. We'll see how fast that can happen, Yeah. depending on how busy. But I'd like to go back to two days a week. Because mm -hmm. once the nominations have started, uh, most of the difficult work is done. Mm -hmm. uh, the organization is done. I'm just waiting for things to come back. And then I do graphics and stuff. But that's not as 
not as crazy as lists of hundreds of games. Mm -hmm. So Arena Foot and I will be very busy putting all those games together, the packages for the nomination committee. Hopefully, oh, Scum says, uh, hopefully I can get Egg Venture in before the deadline. It's so close. Just squishing bugs, bugs and putting on finishing touches. Nice. Oh, that's good. You yeah. are in the last bits. I loved playing all the Egg Venture uh, levels when yes. we played them. Yeah. And I was really hoping for the game to be finished. Mm. And it uh, looks like he's working yeah, on it. That's really good. That's awesome. Yeah. All killer, less filler. <laughs> and depending on how things go, it might be just Tanya and I doing the awards ourselves uh, we'll have to see but yeah if things get better or magically we get inoculated and friends get inoculated and stabbed in the arm yeah we'll have to see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and the awards presentation is on february 6th we're just over a month away so a month and a half mm. is when the award show will happen mm -hmm. And, um, and I'm really looking forward to doing the Concerto Kart special because there's been so many amazing 7800 games. And I'm really sick of playing them in a browser. <laughs> I don't like it. I want to play with actual hardware. Hardware. Yeah. I've been playing with the joystick. I don't like the joystick. You can probably find it's, a substitution for that. Um, I don't have an adapter to use with Genesis controllers. Oh, okay. Um, it's called the Seagull. Mm. Uh, sold in the Atari Age store, and I haven't ordered that yet. So, uh, you need virtual reality, Erlen and Darcy. Yeah. Yeah, they can't play, though. That's the problem. <laughs> We've had them. They can just be here, but yeah, it's yeah, not quite the same. It's not quite the same. I could send them my script, and they can read out while I play. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the same. I, we tried it. It's like, eh, 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 eh. We'll wait till it's all better. Yeah. We can have them back. Yeah. yeah. They'll be back soon. They will. In the meantime, you have to deal with her. No. It's wonderful <laughs> and convenient. She lives here. Yes. <laughs> For the award show. Maybe. Oh, maybe that's a little different. Yeah. They can pop oh, in. That's a, uh, yeah. Maybe. 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 But I'd have to have two phone ins at the same time. No, not at the same time. Yeah, because I give out the award. And if Darcy and Ireland are presenting it, then I have to some, have somebody else also, also be come virtual. In. Yeah, that's a lot of back end yeah. annoyance. Yeah, it's yeah. difficult. It's difficult. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can bring them in for the musical numbers. <laughs> Erlen's fairly musical. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Darcy could do dancing and Erlen can do music. Yeah. <laughs> that would be good. Um, so thank you for tuning in today. Um, next show is I Don't Know When, uh, as soon as possible. Mm. Um, but uh, keep watching everything instagrams and <laughs> all the, the listings yes. all the stuff so thanks everybody for tuning in yes. nathan strum scum software carl g thrust 26 revenge, revenge uh danny vc arena foot, foot. yeah uh well so they're doing all the talking metal lunar seven deactivated styles Goku one 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 two one two. I could just call you Goku, I'm sure. <laughs> Trey guy. Oh, didn't notice you. S Ramirez, two thousand eight. Thanks yes, for hanging you out. Popped in. Metal yeah. Lunar's in there. Yeah. Uh, scrolling, uh, scrolling. Al the fur. And that's it. Unless somebody typed Al the fur, yay. Oh, and yeah. Oh, you're very welcome, Nathan Strom. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I could do. We could do it at noon. Yep. So that people in Europe could watch it live. Yep. Great show, Revenge says. Well, thank you very much. Merry Christmas and yes. happy holidays to everyone who yes. spent some time with us and tuned in. Yeah, you know, everyone's for a couple hours. cooking their dinners and meeting with family, and they may pop in and out. And yeah. we know it's a just, busy day, but I know yeah. there's always a bit of downtime during yes. Christmas. Yeah, there before, is. Before, after the presents, and before the dinner. Yeah. So I thought we yes. have downtime too. Decent time to do it. Yeah. 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 Uh, and Merry Christmas to you, Carl yes. G. And you're very welcome for the holiday show. Yeah. Um, so we'll be back in the new year or before. Yes. So we'll see. Yes. I'll let you guys know for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see you next time. Yes. And uh, happy Merry Christmas. Merry and Christmas. And happy happy Hanukkah. And, uh, happy Hanukkah. Belated happy Hanukkah. Yeah. And whatever other holidays <laughs> you guys are celebrating. Saturnalia. Mm -hmm. yes. Winter solstice. Winter solstice. Yes. <laughs>
The days Kwanzaa. are getting longer. Yes. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever is your bag. All those so. things. Yep. Festivus. Yes, yes. Can't forget that. We Festivus just watched that. Festivus for the rest of us. Yeah, we watched it last night. Yeah, we were watching holiday <laughs> episodes. Of... So there's a theme of strikes, and <laughs> no, right. uh, yeah, and the episode's called the strike. Yeah. 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 Excellent. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs>